Welcome to No Fugazi Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley. We got six lovely ladies on the panel today. And uh, we talking dating and relationships. You know how it is. Uh, let's get right into intros. Uh, starting with you. <laughs> <laughs> name, age, and where you from? My name is Diamond. I'm 23 and I'm from the Lehigh Valley. Diamond, that's your real name or your stripper name? My real name. <laughs> Welcome back. You I was, was here named before. after her though. So. You was named after Diamond from Players Club. Yeah. Say swear to God. Swear to God. You was so wait. You seen Players Club? That's my dad's. Yeah. So you <laughs> yeah. was really named after Diamond from Players. That's my dad's favorite Yo. movie. <laughs> that's that's actually interesting. So your yeah. dad named you Diamond. Yeah. So he was obsessed with who's the girl that was from uh. Lisa Ray. He was obsessed with Lisa Ray. Well, I don't know about all that, but I just know, know that that's that. his favorite. Know. Um, His favorite movie. Mm -hmm. okay. My mom dead wouldn't let me watch it until I was like old enough to. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And uh, Diamond, um, what do you do for a living? I'm a nail technician. Nail technician? Or uh, follow me at Fairy Glam Sister. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and um, relationship status? Single. Single. How long? Since... March, the end of March, early April. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh fun fact about yourself. Um I'm that girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You that girl. <laughs> I don't know, I'm fun. Oh, oh your fun fact yeah. is that you're fun? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. What the fuck is a fun fact about yourself? What's hmm. I I don't know, I don't have no special you don't have any special talents. She's a nail tech. Yeah. You don't. You right. have anything? I mean, that's like a her career. She like she's Picasso doing. on her nails. Um, she's fun Picasso fact, on her nails. I don't <laughs> know what's fun. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next. Moving right along. <laughs> name, age, and where you from? My real name or the name you gave me? <laughs> oh, welcome, back. <laughs> welcome back, China. <laughs> China, I guess is my name. Um, I'm 23. I'm single. And like I said before, I'm young in turn. Say so, no, I do hair. You do hair? Yeah, follow me. Finesse by Bella. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Yo, ease. Just remember to be boom, boom with it. Say less. Um, okay, so you do hair. Yes. And uh, relationship status? I'm single. Single. How long? Since like the end of March. End of March? Yeah. Okay. What is that? Six months. Six, six months? Six, seven months. Yeah, it's been, yeah. yeah six, seven months. Yeah. It's been a great okay. six, seven months. Who broke up with who? I broke up with him. Why? <laughs> 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 um, I wasn't playing a fair game and he got caught first. You wasn't playing a fair game and he got caught first. Oh, you spicy. Yeah. <laughs> she like, uh, yeah, uh, I was getting slayed and he was doing some slam, but I caught him. So, uh, <laughs> you were better at hiding it. For sure. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we can get into that topic later on. Oh, Lord. Uh, who's better Let's at talk hiding about it? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And fun fact about yourself. I got that dog in me. <laughs> 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 I was just playing. Uh, fun fact about myself. Um, I'm really her. You really her, yeah. okay? So you, I guess guys call themselves they him, mm -hmm. Timothy, but you calling yourself her. Her. That's your fun fact. Yeah. All like, right. what would be a fun fact about yourself? I have oh, a podcast. On the spot. Okay. No that's, fugazi. That's your own. But that yeah, like but that's like what you do. No, that's fun. That's I gotta do this. Fun. This is this is fun. Oh. It's entertaining. Yeah. Right, ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Moving right along. <laughs> Name, age, and where you from? My name is Lee. Lee. Yep. I'm okay. 23. Mm -hmm. And I'm from the Lehigh Valley, I guess. Le Lehigh Valley. What do you do for a living? I work in a dental office. Okay. Dental office. Mm -hmm. and, I like uh, teeth. You like what? Teeth. Teeth. Yeah. yeah I just I actually went to the dentist today and got my cleaning done. So nice. Um, mm -hmm. Relationship status. Single. Single. How long? Seven months. Seven months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Mm, I guess. I don't know. I'm a nature girl. I like going out. 
Nature girl. Like yeah. going out. Okay. And right over here, name, age, and where you from? Hi, I'm Sandy. Um I'm in the Lehigh Valley area. Lehigh Valley, okay. I'm twenty four, right. single. Um been single for like past couple months. Newly single as well. Everyone's fairly newly single. Yeah. Summertime, right. you already know. <laughs> yeah, like y'all all March. Hers was wait, April. you March, April, March, April. March April. y'all all broke up literally broke up with y'all men right before the summer mm, to have a hot girl summer. Season. Did y'all have a hot girl summer on this couch? <laughs> Fuck no. 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 Lies. No. 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 Did you have a hot girl summer, Sandy? No. No? Okay. I did more of a self-care summer for me. Yeah. Yes. Self-care. Yes. yes. Okay. Fair enough. And um, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a program supervisor, case manager. Ooh. Okay. She Good. Got a degree. And relationship status. We just said that. Yeah. Single. Oh, yeah. We did just say that. I'm tripping. Fun fact. Um, fun fact. Fun fact. Um... I'm very skilled in many career fields. Oh. I used to work on cars. Oh. Period. Oh, shit. Period. Okay. Like what type of work? Uh, I went to school for heavy duty technology and then I worked my way up to a dealership like technician. Okay. You know Actual how to fix an alternator? Alternator, I can put it on for you. You could put Word. it on. Word. Okay, but you could do like mm -hmm. the basics, the oil change, change yep. the tires. Stuff like that. Yeah, Take out it's your Taking out the interior, stuff yep. like that. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Um, all right. Uh, so we're gonna get right into the. Well, actually, no. Um, well, damn. Name, age, and where you from? Holy shit! It's actually, a trip. <laughs> <laughs> name, age, and where you from? I'm Hazel. Um, from the ABE. Sadly, I'm 24, and I'm single, but you know, I'll be talking to the people. You know? Okay, you single, would you be mingling? Nah, I'm tripping, be mingling. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. How long you been single for? Oh my God. Probably around March. March? Mm hmm. Yeah, Dang, we, I feel like oh, it was no, probably not fair because we broke up with really the right up season. season. Like, we might have acted up for it. It was the worst mm -hmm. retrograde, like right before that. It was horrible. It, yeah, it, it was, was like the worst retrograde, like right before that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Okay, okay. Um, what do you do for a living? Well, I work at a nightclub at night, and then I'm a behavioral health technician. Oh, behavioral yes. health nightclub strip club? Hell no. Uh, no offense to the lady that like to strip. But um no I work at an afties. Oh okay okay mm -hmm. nice okay cool and uh, fun fact. I'm a mommy on a first and a bad bitch after. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay you said you a mommy what? Mommy on a. Mommy so you a mom first. Uh huh and, and a baddie right after. A baddie right after. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Name age and where you from? Um Miranda I'm 29 and I'm from Pennington New Jersey it's like by Princeton. Okay nice. And um, what do you do for a living? I do uh, merchandising, retail merchandising. Nice. So I do like merchandising in stores. Nice, nice, cool. And uh, fun fact about yourself. Used to be a professional athlete. Nice. Cool. And what? What? Okay. Track. What? Track. Oh, no shit. I did track too. What uh, meets did you run? Or uh, jump? I mean, I ran like all through high school. And then um, I had a coach who ran in professional meets yeah. and when i was in high school was top 20 in the nation so well, i was what, able like what events 200 100 okay 200 100 yeah 400 nice short nice. distance okay. so yeah so after high school i ran for probably like a year doing all different professional meets and then i stopped okay cool well no that's that's dope i, I did track for only one year but <laughs> the year i did it for uh i was really really good um so Let me guess long jump what? <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Long jump. Yeah, yeah, I actually did long jump, triple jump, high jump. I did triple jump too. And yeah. I did the four by four. Alright. Yeah. So I did all the jumps. Crazy legs. And a four by four. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship status. Single. Single. How long? Like a year and a half. Year and a half. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Um. All right. So this is what I normally do on a podcast. Uh, ladies, I know y'all probably seen some clips of the podcast. Mm. Um, so if you've seen any clips or any a podcast, maybe a point where you had a, you know, you disagree with a point I made or something that you just didn't like, you know, you could mention it now. So let's start here. Did you see anything on a podcast that you're like, ah, it triggered me? 
What's going on, Cooley? Hmm. Nah, not really. No? I just mm. thought of something. It's, it's entertaining how you just... <laughs> yeah, how you shut them down. Yeah. How I shut them he down. He be trying to play women on this platform. Yeah. Just, nah, a little bit. Okay. just a little bit. Okay. But yeah. I do have some in mind. Um, when you said that men can't be whores, oh. only women can. Yeah. No, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. That's a big lie. That shit was yeah. crazy. That's your point of contention that you have. So, like, if you're a guy with a hundred body count, or you're a female with a hundred body count, you're still a whore. I don't believe a man can be a whore. Men are whore makers. Not Why can't a man be a whore? So let me ask you a question. Me and you playing Mortal Kombat. I'm playing it on hard mode, but I beat the game. You play it on easy mode, and you beat the game. Who has more respect out of the two of us? I mean, you obviously. Because I played it on hard yeah. mode, right? So that's the difference between men and women. Men play sex on hard mode. Women play sex on easy mode. It's no not much. respectful. We don't respect you, right? Mm-hmm. So therefore, we call them whores. A man has sex with three women. It was hard to do. We had to put in that work to get that. And I'll take it a step further, right? Think about in society, all the jobs that build the infrastructure in America pays more. Mm -hmm. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Those four industries pay the most because they literally build the infrastructure of the society. Now think about a bartender or someone working at a call center. They don't get paid that much, but the person that is building something, an architect, an engineer, those people get paid a whole lot more. Their salaries are just higher because the harder something is, the more respect you get, which means it's more monetary gain. The easier something is, you don't get a lot of respect. The janitors, they don't get paid that much. The principal, he gets paid a whole lot. Maybe the janitor even does more work than the principal, but it takes more competence to be a principal than it does to be a janitor so it's a competence level as well so it's multiple factors multiple ways where i could break it down which a woman is a whore a man is a whore maker but yeah, is, that, is that the only thing that you disagree with uh, i mean i can't really say that other test for me to I win said. subscribers and supporters we got my man ease he he's producing today and he got a mic so if you hear him speaking in the background and stuff like that he's He's, he's Mr. Producer today. So if you hear that other voice, but we don't got another camera. We were going to get another camera for the producer in the back. But for right now, he just got a mic. So it's yeah. all good. Brother. But, um, all right. So with you, China, you pretty much said that you disagree that the man can't be a whore, but a woman can be a whore. And then you disagreed that. Uh, what was it again? The respect thing. The respect thing. Yeah. All right, I guess we could tackle that and then we'll go around the next panel to see. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else disagree? What's good, Kev? Uh, so, what's what's your comeback to that? Because it's just as easy for men than it is women. It's just as easy yeah. for men? Okay. Because there's bitches that just be easy with it. So, it's girls men that really just ain't putting in a lot of work. Unless you, it depends really what female you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. And there's lots of females out here that are just giving it up low low tier so you think those fast females and just have sex with anyone yeah it's easy mm-hmm. to decipher what bitch holds herself at a higher value than it is lower value and i see lots of men target lower value women to get what they want because mm-hmm. it's easy to run game on them so you think those women that has you know so you're saying that there are women that would just have sex with anyone yeah yes now what is your uh if you would give an estimate, like a general estimate, how like from is it ten percent of women that's whoring around and would have sex with anyone? Twenty percent? What's your ratio here? What are we like? What's your mind like, frame on that? I feel like, it I feel like it's a lot. Like 50, give me a percentage. fifty at this point. Fifty, I fifty, think like seventy-five percent. Yeah, women. like maybe like seven out of ten women's giving it up. So y'all saying a lot disagree. of women. So y'all saying a lot of women are whores then. Yes. yes. Nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays. Yeah. They don't have like, self love. These bitches are broken down. You, Miranda, you had some. I disagree. I think it it depends, right? Like depends on, w- like because there's seven billion people in the world, it's hard to put a number on all of those people, right? I probably would say like solid fifty percent. I think if, if you higher. think a scope. Okay, and what Probably. about you? What it's, about it's you? It's a little higher than fifty. Fifty. Okay, mm-hmm. you think so? So this is what we're getting. Maybe so the age. Saying, I say that just, between the ages. Yeah. Let's Maybe clear this up. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that uh, men can be hoes because it's easy for a man to be a hoe, 
Be- it was easy for a man to have sex because women are just giving it up. Mm-hmm. And you right. said about 70% of women that's giving it up, right? And then yeah. what was your percentage? I said seven. Like, I think... I think it's not 50 50 but it's definitely more than 50 percent of women who don't respect themselves or because at the end of the day i feel like if you're putting yourself out there and you're just going for anything you don't hold yourself at any type of standard so like you percent, have no respect what, for yourself what percentage would you say like 60 60 okay 70 60 miranda you said 50, 50. what what about you i'm doing a solid 75 75 <laughs> okay yeah. so 75 <laughs> women out here slurring they'll take anybody <laughs> what about Shit. you sandy I'm gonna go with like 45. 45. Okay. <laughs> Pretty low. 45. She being okay. nice. Uh, what about you, Lee? Um, I'm just gonna say like around 65, but I'm I think it's the age gaps. I really think it's our ages. Okay. All right. So y'all just going off of what y'all think. Now here's the statistics and the facts. So, uh, 30 percent of men between the ages of 18 and 30 is either a virgin or haven't had sex in a year. They're celibate. So what was the percent again? Sorry, thirty percent. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. So are these like facts. Yeah, these are. Facts. I actually saw Google. the. Uh, yeah. The post of that one. So, from yours. if that's the case, that means that all of you ladies are one hundred percent wrong, like one hundred percent. Because if seventy-five percent of women, or seventy percent, or even fifty or forty-five percent of women were just out here sleeping with anybody, meaning that it was easy for guys to get pwned, it wouldn't be thirty percent of men in the United States that's not getting. No vagina at all. That is cap. I mean, so that's the it's fact. a lot it's of losers cap. out here, <laughs> and it's a lot of like, short <laughs> men. So, uh, yo, for okay. real, so, like, <laughs> for real. one out of every five men got short. Dick. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. one out of every five got a long dick. Said they're wrong. Yeah. yeah. So that's why a lot of guys are virgins um, or yeah. don't get yeah. sex because so, basically just of what y'all said a lot of, of um, selection so now let's just you know have some common sense here right you pretty much saying that a woman that you know a, wo- a woman and a man can be a whore and a man can be a whore because it's easy for him to get sex just like it's easy for a woman to get sex my argument is that that's 100 percent not true and we have the statistics to back it up not only that if you if any of you ladies like go out in a club you could literally have sex with like uh, almost every guy in the club mm-hmm. no guys will really turn you down some guys maybe would turn you down but you could pretty much clean out the club right now if i go in the club i'm six foot four fairly attractive guy i think it w- it's not that easy i think it's the same guys that are getting it there we go same guys that are getting it okay cool anybody else what's the statistic for women Oh, do well, you know like you're saying like 18 to 30 30 percent don't have sex do you know the statistic for women or no i don't know okay. the statistic for women but uh it doesn't matter because women hold the key to sex so it's like right. yeah i was just curious yeah. like <clears throat> yeah no no but yeah. yeah they and they wouldn't even get that statistic because women hold the key to sex so it's like well it really doesn't matter if they're a virgin good if she's sleeping <laughs> around with a whole lot of people Okay, it doesn't matter. It's, that's what she's doing with her that's life. Damaged goods, you say? Um. So, any you got anything pushback on that? Hmm. I said what I said. You said so. You still believe that? Yeah. So you still believe a man can be a whore because it's easy for him to have sex? Yeah. Once you're yes. washed up, you're washed up. Like I don't care what label you slap on it. Wait. What, say that again. <laughs> I said once you're washed up, you're washed up, and I don't care what label you slap on it. Washed up, meaning that the woman is washed up. The man, or the man is washed up. Yeah, you said only woman could be whores. Well, you got to think about it. So I'll just say it (laughs) because no, I'm trying to like coach you through it a little bit, but I don't think you really understand it. Be direct. I don't think you're. Yeah, 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 yeah. The facts is that I already gave the facts. The way you're looking at the world is coming from a very subjective lens, right? You're thinking only about the men that you find attractive that those guys is out there they're getting boxed but you don't you forget about the dudes at cvs you forget about the dudes at walmart you forget about the dudes that's in a club that try to talk to you mm-hmm. but they saying like they they breath smell well, guess what? <laughs> their breath smell when he tried to talk to you is smell when he's trying to talk to all those other girls in the club i said <laughs> there's lots of losers out here so okay so oh but then God. that you're refuting your own point then so if there are lots There's of losers, probably people fucking them, just not me. So, but, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 
can't. Just I think know. about no, the amount should. of uh, just think about the amount of women that have guys in the friend zone. Um, just think about your DMs. Yeah, a lot of and, girls and got a lot that. of a lot of girls have a lot of guys in their DMs talking to themselves. A lot of girls have a lot of guy friends. So that defeats your point. A lot of guys aren't getting yeah, she it. She don't know Honestly, that because I really don't care about any of your saying what you're saying. If a man's a whore, he's a whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> fuck the statistics and the facts. Like, what but the fuck? The only reason why you think that is because you think that you're special. What? But you're not special. So you How did think we get you, here? No. Well, we're here because <laughs> you've been saying it the whole time. You've been like, saying like, I just said you're well, a whore. That has nothing to do with me. But listen, you've been saying that those girls are whores, but that's not me. These girls do all of this, but that's not me. I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about men. I don't care you're, what no, the next. No, you said said. that women are easy nowadays. Yeah, they are. But I said men is just as easy. A man can't to be, be easy. All right. Like, how can you put right. easy on a man? If I don't know. I guess the men I come in contact with are easy. I could say that. Have you had sex with all of them? No. Okay, so then how can it be easy? Because you can't. Because I'm not pressing the issue. It. I'm rejecting it. That's how. Oh, you're rejecting yes. it. Yes. Yeah, well, a man has lower standards than a female has standards. So men have yes. lower sexual <sighs> standards. Men will sleep with anything. I think yeah, anything. Most anything. definitely. Yeah. Most mm-hmm. definitely. Most definitely. That's what I'm saying. They're whores. They'll sleep with anything. No, but the... Even though that they'll sleep with anything, if they don't have the capability to sleep with the anything, because it All takes right. skill to sleep with women, right? Just like I said, so you ladies it don't are always special. Some take skills. What'd you say? It don't always take skills. Out of people's body counts, probably half of them sucked. So it doesn't really <laughs> matter what skills you yeah, have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So ladies, let me just give you out a male experience, right? As a man, we start off with zero value, right? Zero sexual value. When when we're 18 years old, that means that so zero sexual value for a man, for a woman, she starts off when she turns 18. The world's her oyster. She has all the sexual value, meaning that most men is going to be attracted to that woman. Right. But the man, most women aren't attracted to an 18 year old boy. What? What did he what did he do in life? What did he accomplish? What did he earn? We all know that women are attracted to certain traits, leadership traits, protecting, providing. Well, what can that 18 year old really give to women? Nothing. Can't, really can't. Yeah, really can't give anything to a woman. So but women, uh, you're at your prime when you're 18 between 24 and the statistics on that, too. It was a study done and uh, men all the way up to the age, I think, of 70 from 18 to 70, all found the same subgroup of women attractive between the ages of 18 Correct. and 24. So men, we're attracted to feminine, kind, submissive, and young and beautiful. That's what we're attracted to. So you you already give all men that when you're 18. But an 18 year old man, he can't give a woman anything because he didn't earn anything. Even a 24 year old man, if he got lucky, maybe he earned some stuff, but usually it takes time for a man to acquire value does that make sense Mm -hmm. so how can do you get it now that's why a man can't be a whore because he literally has to go out there and make something for himself in order to have the ability no, to no, attract no, no, no. females. No, a bunch of no, I reject <laughs> your, your yeah. response. They, they because listen, like, though. No, like, we, we get what you're saying. I get saying. what you're saying. You're saying that your argument is that men have to work for the pussy. Women don't have to do nothing but... What's easy is not respected, ladies. So you okay, but the clip. but either way, but either way, men are whores. They can be whores mm-hmm. because a man can have absolutely no value, and we still be popping our box to them, regardless. They could have had a little charm you, you or whatever. Charm. You just said so. But it doesn't even. That could be just your personality. Wrong. Yeah, One yeah huh? Men? What you mean? Because you can't. About? You can't tell somebody that they need to acquire skill yeah. to get fucked. You could literally have a trauma bond with me. Like both of our moms passed away. I'm gonna have that connection with you. I want to have sex. It just happens sometimes only, like that. No. Only if you're attracted to them. Remember, the men that are whores are the guys that you're attracted yeah, you're, to. One, two things, right? You're a so now only attracted to whores. No, that doesn't make any sense. I think what you're saying is just completely different from what we're saying. Like yeah. men can't be whores because men there could can. be men that don't have much value to them who just be slanging dick for free to yeah. anybody who's taking it. Yeah, yeah, ladies, That's a you're fact. forgetting your. Your mind frame is very like self-centered almost. Like you gotta see beyond your own experience. But it's so not even my I'm experience. Is that Looking at- it takes skill for a man to have sex. What you're doing, you're assuming attraction. You're assuming that the guy is already attractive. 
it takes a lot for a guy to be attractive to most women. It takes a lot for a guy to be attractive to one woman. Because guess mm -hmm. what? All of you ladies, say if a man walked in here that was your type, or you out in a club, you seen him, he's fully your type. Fully your type from top to bottom. He's your type. But if he says the wrong thing, you will disqualify him. Get the but ick. guess what? Y'all not mm -hmm. special. Even the whores do that. Even the girls that's out here that you call that, oh, they're, they're fast, they're easy, they'll sleep with anyone. No, they still disqualify those same dudes that say the wrong thing, mm -hmm. they got stinky breath, that's awkward and weird and don't really know how to convey themselves. They still disqualify that the guys that don't have charisma. You saying that it's not a skill to have charisma? Yes, yes it, it is. is a skill to have charisma. Charisma is a huge skill because... It takes practice to have charisma. How would I even know how to speak to a girl if I haven't practiced speaking with multiple girls? I, I'm you think just I'm just like going to have yourself. charisma just by speaking to a girl? You can't just be yourself around somebody? I mean, it, takes, it takes skill to acquire charisma that's going to be authentic to yourself. What are you talking about? I didn't know it takes um, lessons to talk no, not, to a not a lesson. It's not a but lesson. Like, I'm it's literally just about courting women. Okay, but yeah, I, you ladies aren't gonna understand. Let's. It's alright. Yeah, yeah, next topic, please. Because what uh, about how we don't want the attention? What'd you say? You said at eighteen we're at our prime and we get yeah. all the attention, but yeah. we don't always want that. It doesn't matter if you don't want it. You still have the. You still get. You still get attention. So that means that once you're eighteen years old, women, you're eighteen, so you're legal. That means that most. The fact is that most men find most women attractive. Right. Mm -hmm. So since most men find most women attractive, oh, like, when you're 18, the world's your oyster. You have the ability to talk to a lot of guys. If you want to be a whore and want to sleep around, you can literally rack up a hundred bodies a day if you wanted to. But men can't do that. How but can men a male rack up a hundred bodies a when day? They do that. Um, I know. I've had men tell me that they have over a hundred plus bodies in one day. Not in one day, but I'm. Uh, I don't know. I don't ask them about the experiences. Uh, Hugh Hefner didn't even do that. Dan Blazarian, I, he ain't even smashed. I feel like men can have that. a long list of a roster. Which, what you got, what you ladies are people. misunderstanding is most women are attracted to the same type of guys. So those so those guys that you guys are attracted to are the ones getting all the chicks. There's a small percentage of men that are getting the majority of the women because most women want what. Tall, muscular, financially Wrong. stable, and attractive, and, attractive. and a lot of hold on, and a lot of men yeah. aren't tall, muscular. Ugly. A lot of men don't have their shit together. It's only a small percentage. And what do what do women want? Stability. So those men that you that you call it are whores are the men that have their shit together. They're either tall or attractive or both, and have their shit together. But and they're the ones that have the pick of the litter. The majority of men. Based on statistics, the average man makes about between thirty to fifty k a year, and most women want what yeah. guys that make eighty k a year and up. Some are saying straight up a hundred k a year. And up. Yeah, that's that's still going one. I, <laughs> they not even gonna understand that because I gave statistics, but uh, good look on that ease because it's. I'll try to break it down real simple. I'll try this with y'all, and then we'll move on to another topic. Please. I think we're just going <laughs> in circles yeah. with this. We're not it's even going in circles. Not getting, I don't think they're getting this back. what we're saying. No, no, like, no, no he's right. This. I'll build a bum up. Yeah, money don't so, matter to me or none of that. And where is he Built now? Build a bum up. Matter, Living his best life because I taught him what he needed no, to no, know. Yeah, Word. You broke up with him, right? Well, yeah, after he thought he was a shit. No, no, you broke up with him because he was a bum. He didn't I didn't have... break up with him because he was a bum. She just said she didn't she care about the up. money. She built him up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, He's it didn't work out be because mom. he was slacking. He didn't have the masculinity, the assertive, the dominance to keep you. He didn't have the leadership capabilities to keep a girl. No. So those are the lower value well, guys. He thought he was better than me. And he thought what I taught him... He learned on his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah ladies. Yeah, I know. I, I know that already. Ladies, so women mm -hmm. don't build men. Women wait at the finish line, smash the winners. No. That's all it is. Well, those are the uh, only relationships that actually last. What's she the saying? The woman that oh tried to build a man, the woman that tried to build a man, it doesn't work out. They grow resentment for that man, and then they leave that man. Have you ever seen work. Alimony? Yeah. What are you talking about? So The movie. So, no, nah, no one's seen that. But... This is what I wanted to I say. I have, and that's Back exactly what you're saying. And whore maker thing. I broke it down in a contundrum of ways, right? So it's 
no one is saying that a man being promiscuous is a good thing. That's not what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that a woman being promiscuous is a good thing. They're both negative things, right? But what I'm saying that it's different. And not only is it different, our, the way we view it is actually totally different. The way a man looks at a woman and society looks at a woman as promiscuous, it's shameful. Throughout the beginning of time, the Ming Dynasty, Africa, um, uh, all the tribes throughout all different cultures and religions from thousands of years ago, they all shamed promiscuity in women. It was all shameful. The reason why it was shameful is because it's like, of course it's easy for a woman to have sex. So that means that it's not respected. And then not only that, you're allowing multiple individuals inside you. So it's disgusting. And then not only that, we did, back in the day, they didn't have fraternity tests. So if a woman was out there sleeping around and being promiscuous, no one knows who the baby father is back in those days. So what would happen is since she doesn't know who's the baby father, then she wouldn't have a man that would protect and provide for her. And back in those days, you women need, really needed the man to protect and provide for her. Because if not, another man will come and rape you and be a kid and take you and put you in Damn. enslavement heavy and on, all of this other stuff. Heavy on back so, in those days. So what I'm saying is that it's since the beginning of time, it's been like that. And not only that, still now, no. those same natural tendencies that men have and what they look for is the same just like women from back then they still look for men height income status they still look for that in men and they prioritize those things and what do they do now they still do the same thing now so it's a biology thing does that make sense mm -hmm. Yeah. So men are whores by nature and women choose to be whores no men women look for quality men look for quantity that is our natural and that's not propensity. No, that's our natural. That's what pro I just said. Natural. Ladies, one mic at a time. So <laughs> men look for men look for quantity. Women look for quality. That's our natural propensity when we're mating. You get it? So women, since you look for quality, you look for the best guy that you can get. That's why you're attracted to height, income, status, and all of these things, which is a leader. A man looks for quantity. So it's like, we don't really, we don't want a woman to lead us. So we're not looking for the same things that you're looking for in that guy. We're looking for the opposite. Feminine, submissive, cook, clean. Can you be nurturing? Okay. Okay. Maybe it's Next clicking topic, a little please. bit Got over here. Little. Yeah, fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, you just don't get it. Moving right along. Uh, <laughs> you said you had something, but they, your friends disagree with you, so I ain't even going to get on that. Um, <laughs> yeah, next. Over here. Did you see anything on a podcast that you disagree with or anything maybe that you brunk? Like, it was like, eh, I don't really understand that. Um, no. I can't remember. No? Okay. Yeah. Have you watched the podcast before or no? I've seen some clips. I see you... Telling people to go and shit. Okay. <laughs> Anything you disagree with, though? Or that you like, ah? Mm, no, not really. No? What about you, Miranda? Uh, me and my friend watched, I guess it was like a clip or maybe like um, Instagram clips. So like only a few minutes, not like the YouTube. Yeah. And we were talking about how you were talking about the girls out of 10, right? And yeah. when you, you were like, nobody's an 8 out of 10. And when me and my friend were talking about it. And mm -hmm. she put it into perspective that I didn't think of. That I was like, oh, okay. Because she's like, okay, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Those are models, actors, mm -hmm. any yep. of that, right? Whatever. Yep. Those people, right? So if you're, in, if you, if we, you can think that you are yourself. Like, if I would. Like, I might think that I'm an out of 10. Yeah. But if you ask a room of men, they may not think that because based off of that, right? Like, I'm not a model. I'm not an actress. I don't feel I'm like not any of those status things. Yeah. So I think that was, like, interesting she put that perspective on that I didn't see that I think people don't yeah. think about. And that's how men normally look at it. Men are logical. So like the, the scale, if you think about one out of 10, five is average. Anything above five is above average. Anything below five is below average. Right. So like a five is an average looking girl. A six, she's good looking. A right. seven, she's very attractive. Right. At eight, that's when it gets into you model status. A nine is, okay, you on TV, you model status. And tens really don't exist. Tens is kind of like when you in a relationship, you you chose a seven, you in a relationship Damn. with her, you married her. In your eyes now, she's a ten. She's all you sure. see. You feel I what mean, I'm saying? Yeah. But um, other than that, know. that's the general scale. I don't yeah. know. Are I you from my Tennessee? Eyes up. You set <laughs> the scale? Because you're the what? only ten. You the scale? I see. Or is that like a scale you've seen? 
No, no that's, that's the same thing. Logical. I feel like every guy sets their own scale. Yeah, no, that's true. Not because, mm-hmm. well, like I said, it, yeah. a guy can. Yeah. One guy can look at you mm-hmm. and she's a ten, but the next guy could be like, "Nah, she's not really a ten to me." So I feel like guys and girls set their own scales. I agree yeah. with that. Because yeah. my I guy could be too. a ten in my eyes, and yeah. he could be a four in yeah. mine to yours. She was my. So, that's what I was saying. My friends talking about more of like overall scale, right? Yeah. Like, so, like, so like in a general rating, sense. Confusing it to rating men. Women don't rate men just based off their looks oh, when they God. view a man. They rate him on a multitude of other things. At first because glance. women have a lot of okay. things, a lot of boxes to check off. Men, it's literally beauty. It's like, okay, is she beautiful? Once she meets that qualification, then the other things come into play. So the scale is, ladies, it is. So like you said, right? You said, well, I don't really think it's like that. But it truly is because if you get... A, so one guy could think a girl is a... 10 right Mm -hmm. another guy could think um another girl is uh uh, seven Mm -hmm. another guy could think another girl is a four you get all the guys in a room you get all the girls in a room right they're gonna have similar agreements on what the girls are because then they get to see all the girls like okay well nah this one is actually a 10 like this one is actually a, a nine or a ten. This girl, I thought she was a a nine, but I never seen nothing like this before. So her rating is like more like a six now. Okay, you get what I'm saying. So my point is, is that you really don't like generally speaking when men view all women like if they're being truthful. Is the scale is five average, anything above, above average, anything below, below average. So yeah, but good thing. Anything else? Nothing. Nah. Um, Questions, ladies? No questions? No. Okay, so we're going to hit the first question on the podcast. Ease, did you have anything? Not at the moment. Not at the moment? All right, bet. Say no more. Uh, let's do this. Start in with Sandy. How many bodies would you consider to be a hoe? A man hoe? or woman? A woman. A woman? Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he just wants us to slander. <laughs> oh, well, uh, women don't care podcast. about a man's body count. Says who? Uh, yeah, we do. Says who? We sure do. That'd be uh, one of the first go twenty questions I asked. What the? Uh, Honestly, so I don't, y'all give a y'all fuck don't get about anything. Body. I got I this real quick. No so, uh, uh, one lady. Why do we have to bash females? Like we're bashing yeah. ourselves. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. It's not bashing females. One lady. Let's just be very, very honest here and think. Put your emotions to the side and think logically real quick. You don't care about a man's body count is because the most attractive men have the highest body count. Can I and say And those something? guys are the, all, yeah. none of you are virgins, right? Mm-hmm. Not virgins. So the guys that you had sex Not with, hard. they all had sex with, they was able to have sex with other girls before and then able to have sex with other girls after you. So you're attracted to guys that can get pussy. You don't want to date a virgin. But guess what? We'll marry a virgin. Mm-hmm. So it's much different. We value what men value. We val- we literally value purity. What you value is experience. You don't want a little dick nigga. You don't want a nigga that can't stroke it right. You don't want a nigga with no charisma. You don't want a nigga that isn't not, is not going to be able to hold a conversation. You want a nigga with experience. So guess what, ladies? The niggas with experience got high body counts. So I you're false. Fuck about you're wrong. Body counts. No, no. All you ladies are incorrect. You are attracted to the men that can get other vagina. Because if he can't get other vagina, he would be part of the statistic I went over. He'll be part of the 30% of men that either are virgin or haven't had sex in a year. So what are you talking about? That yeah, men are so whores. Let's, no, men can't be whores. <laughs> men are, men are We're not going back uh, to that so topic again. Let's Jesus, get on to the first question, right? So how are and you one mic at a time, too, ladies. about ourselves, though? No, what no, no. we think? One, one mic at a time. Answer the question. <laughs> how many bodies, generally speaking, how many bodies, generally speaking, do you would you consider that God. woman to be a whore? How I'm many confused. bodies? You can move on to the next with that question. Yeah, because you're like, if I say a number, then you're going to put me in that. You can put me in that category. Say, I'm say, not asking y'all your body count. No, no, but it's nothing it, with that. It can, yeah. Who gives a fuck about a body count? Like I'm not men ever do. asking men give a nobody fuck about that. Body okay, count. So we should be asking you. So what's so, your body count? Huh? No. What do you per- no, ladies, What do ladies, you think? Simmer it down, and it's one mic at a time. Okay. I'll please. be honest with y'all. If y'all don't want to participate, y'all can all leave the studio. It's like that. It's my way or the highway. So it's straight like that. 
So I'm going to ask you again. If you're not answering a question, you can leave. I'm 100% serious. So answer the question. How many bodies would you consider a woman to be a whore? We do know women are whores. So how many bodies in your mind, what would you consider that woman to be a whore? Answer the question. A thousand. Damn. Fair enough. God damn, a thousand. He wanted to an answer. So uh, they could I don't be know. I'm gonna say like she's not a whore. What about you? Mm-hmm. I'll say like twenty. Twenty. That's a lot too. Fair enough. What about you, Miranda? I was gonna say fifty. I was gonna say fifty. Fair I was enough. gonna say the same thing. Um, know. you, uh, Diamond. Um, I don't know. A hundred plus. Hundred. Anything over a hundred plus. Okay, cool. I don't, so care about, I don't really like I think body counts to me I don't like it is what however you get down I respect it so it's like fair enough mm-hmm. what about you <laughs> I don't care just give a number a number be any number like I don't know 50 I guess but like that goes off age too like you, that's why I was you okay. just start 50. popping pussy you mm-hmm. racked up 50 alright yeah but like, if you like 50 different. you got 50 all right. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So you said it goes off age? Yeah. I disagree. I think I, no matter what age the female is, of course, more time, more experience, but still it's like it doesn't matter if the woman is, you know, whatever her age is, if she got a high body count, what would be that high number? Like forget it Because age doesn't matter You If you it have do. 50 dicks in you And you 50 years old And you yeah. have 50 dicks in And you And you 18 That's years old dick You year. still have 50 dicks in you <laughs> That shit you That's one anyway. failed relationship a year Yeah Alright so What number was yours? I guess we going with 50 Oh 50 alright What about you? Uh, yeah I guess 50 Okay cool So now We gonna ask another question Since you ladies <laughs> Cool you got that out the way Starting with Uh-oh. Um I had a question, but it like flew. Uh, if you get it back, we could put it in. Yeah. Start with uh, you, uh, Diamond. So Diamond, uh, who has kids on this panel? You, kid, you got a boy? Mm-hmm. What you got, Diamond? A girl. You got a girl? All right. So this question is for everybody on the panel, but y'all got kids. So maybe it'll relate to y'all. So if your son, if you had a son, um, and your son came to you and... Uh, he had two options of women. He loved them. He, listen to the question clear, right? Your kid <laughs> loved both girls equally. Okay. And both girls was a same attractiveness. Mm-hmm. Both girls treated your son the same, and your son treated both girls the same. This is, he's an essay. The only thing that was different about both girls oh, is that okay. one girl, girl A, had one body count, and girl... B, she had 20, five body, bodies, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, which one would you advise your son to marry? Whoever fucking him better. Facts. <laughs> 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 I don't know. So, so wait. You that would, doesn't matter. So, so marriage, you would, there's a whole, marriage is a, uh, Marriage is a long-term, com- a lifetime commitment. Right. So you would be thinking about sex in a marriage? No. Uh, sex doesn't, sex isn't Here the glue to a marriage. There's so multiple other things. So why are you asking about body count? So because uh, a woman's past and what she done in the past, shouldn't. don't you think? Do you, My question is very simple. Choose I one answered. of them. So it's the one or the one with 25. So girl A, she has one body count. Girl B, she has 25. It's situational. If girl one has no, no, one body so count. They, they treat. So think about it. Everything is the same But this is my perspective is different. Now, say girl A has one body count. She's with her. Mind you, I just had a client, mind you, that got married at 18 with her husband. And she only had one male she's ever been with. She cheated because she her mind was like, damn, I got married young. I didn't and want to you okay, know what I'm but saying? this is not I've about never... that. Let's just stick. Let's stick to the subject. Yeah, it's not about that. That's, that's it, though. Wh- I'm which saying, one, girl with one body, well, she's going on might explore and want to, you know, fuck over my son. Which 
by count 25 has experience she likes my son she want to settle down with him it's different okay. maybe she is, won't cheat can you use any other logical reasons no because i don't is that the only logical reason you could use yeah because uh, sh- girl 25 it, she doesn't lose her value just because you know what i'm saying like to me at least so there's no other logical reasons that you could use for a girl with a high body count that how how much damage she could do to your son you said that girl with a low body count well it's possible that she could you know she could uh have fomo fear of missing out well she really hasn't you know she hasn't, hasn't had, had any fun and experience so she may want to experience fun right that could also but be damaged. girl uh uh girl b the girl that has 25 body counts well she's experienced a lot wouldn't you think that she would have fear of what she missed no, I think that she had experience. Think, time out. What and do you now think she's... is stronger? A stronger urge? Do you think uh, what you miss is a stronger urge, or what you've never had is a stronger urge? I think never had. What you never had. What you never had is yes. a stronger urge. How? When okay. you never so had it? Go with the miss. Yeah. Because you I never had it. A wondering mind. Curious. Curious. So, the cat. So women over here on this couch, Miranda gets it. Thank you, Miranda. I know um, where you're going with it. Yeah, you and because you know because one is only one is more pure. She, she's to not. A man. She's not fearful of to missing society. out to your mother, anything. to your well, ancestors. This is what you're saying. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I say something? Yeah, one second, right, and then I'll get to you. So the point is, is that um, you can't miss anything that you never had. Missing is real strong when you're a family member dies you miss that person you like you really miss it when you ate something before it was really good and it's like oh wow dang i had some hibachi at that one spot that one was good i missed that it's it's more it's more uh, a dire need for it right fear of missing out is like oh well yeah we going out to the club and stuff like this we about to do this so i went to cancun oh, i seen that that was pretty nice but it's like oh well i wonder i wonder that could be cool they're having all that fun. Well, I, I could probably be doing that. It's a difference. It's, it's mystery. It's mystery in what you haven't had before. But there's zero mystery in what you've already had before, which makes that you yearn for it even more. So the point I'm making is that the girl that has 25 bodies, girl B, for your son, she had 25 dicks. There's a high probability that she definitely going to miss one of them dicks. The girl that had one body, one dick, there's a very low probability that she'll miss that dick. And there's a very low probability that she'll even have fear of missing out. And that fear of missing out would make her break up the relationship. Don't forget so, STDs also. Y'all forget the most important part. Yeah, yeah, STDs. Yeah, we, yeah, we could but go on to the, the STDs. He said both of them, them are the same. Other things. He said both of them are the same. But anyway, so then body one you and said body that twenty-five. Would you'll both choose be body. Same. You you'll choose girl, uh, girl, the girl with one body count. Fair I, enough. No, I'm just saying. I don't. I'm. I'm putting in a different perspective. I see your perspective, but I also see like the other side of things. So which one would you choose for your son? I'm. I don't think I would choose. I can't. Well, well, this is exactly why uh, women shouldn't lead in the society Men, or in uh, any relationship be- or in the world. They can't even make a decision on what will be best for their son. Someone that you birthed, you made a copy of this individual. You literally made a copy. He's a copy of you. And you can't decide to, well, a girl with ha- one girl has a, a 25 body count and one girl has a one body count. You can't use, you don't have any discernment to make it the logical decision. Of no, course, the girl that has 25 body counts is a horse for the streets. Your ancestors wouldn't like that woman. Her ancestors doesn't like her. They're looking down at her. God There's doesn't like her. God that. looking down at her. Everyone looking down at that one woman that have a 25 body count. Not only that, she won't be a good long term mating choice for your son. The probability is extremely high that she'll divorce him and go back to one of the other 25s i don't agree or get a new nigga i don't agree either. unfortunately i don't agree because okay. well, you can wake up any day you you and decide it doesn't matter you can wake up right? you Everyone's can wake up any style. day and decide anything so yeah but the point of being a mother and a parent is giving your kids guidance mm-hmm. so if your son is literally asking you but there's always gonna be a like the, those two girls are never gonna be the same there's gonna be something about another one of them that i'm gonna like more other over the other and it has nothing there's to do with their body count you could like it what priority a is a woman's body count 
for a relationship to you no to all human beings because it's more of a priority to that woman the girl that had the girl that experienced more the promiscuous woman forget about what so society. because she experienced more she's promiscuous that's what we're, we're talking about promiscuity but the, when a bitch not freaky enough he fucking sarah down the block that's super freaky exactly sarah that's not true block. Yeah, All right. To yeah. you. Incorrect. Oh my God. I can't. Get on next. To you. We can Go get on that. Let's person. move it right These along. Yeah, what about you, China? Uh, so I'll just repeat the question and make it very concise. So if your son came to you, he said, Ma, I want to marry. Um, I got two girls. They both treat me the same. Which one should I marry? One girl has a body count of one. The other girl has a body count of 25. Which one are you advising your son to marry? <laughs> He gonna have to fuck around and find out. So you're not gonna give your son any no. advice? Another reason why single moms fail society. Whoa, single whoa, whoa, moms whoa, whoa. literally they single is statistics on it. Women that don't have any guidance or any leadership, well someone's gonna lead them and they're gonna get guidance somewhere else. So they need a strong masculine figure to guide that woman, to guide the children and to guide that household because you can't even give you any advice to your son. So but you're judging a woman off of her body count. You're judging a woman off of her body 100%. count. 100%. That's what this is. That's, that's what men and do. That's yeah. bullshit. A lot of men do that. Yeah, all men do that. Yeah. Don't you judge society. Men off, no. Don't the men you judge men based off his character and his, mother. And his, his character, to yes, not his body count. It's my character. Your character makes your body count. No, it doesn't. What are you talking about? Listen, women, women. When you don't like a girl and you guys are talking shit, what's the number one insult women say to other women? She's, She's a what? Ugly. Yes. She's a whore. <laughs> She's a whore. That's what you That's say. That's what y'all say. I don't give a fuck no, if we don't bitch. Care I don't care. About girls. Yes, I don't care. care. Wait, me in. First thing a man says to a woman when he got her tight. Oh, bitch, I knew you was a hoe anyways. Exactly. That's if you cheated on him, yeah. yeah. No, if not you, even. I cheated. never cheat on a soul. And that's the first thing a nigga want to say. Oh, you was a hoe anyways. Women shame other women no. for being promiscuous. Men, we don't no, we shame don't. other women at all because we want to smash the promiscuous woman. We like, oh, the, mo the more promiscuous she is, it's a higher probability of me getting that box. But you're shaming if you're putting her in that criteria where, like, literally, you just said... You're technically trying to make them choose the woman, the girl with the one body over the girl with the 25 yeah, bodies. No, it's you're not. He's just promiscuous. over logic. No. Shaming is a good thing. Oh Without God. shame, the world will be doomed, right? Think about if we didn't you shame killers. Think. You would think, think about it. If we didn't shame killers, right? Say, uh, say someone just was going on a stabbing rampage and he was stabbing someone. But we don't want to, we don't want to. We don't want to shame him and put him in that box. Oh, we know other people did other crimes, but we shouldn't shame this killer, Can right? That's nonsense. Mm -hmm. that's, Not a good thing. That's treachery. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not we a good have comparison. to shame bad behavior. Bad behavior should be shamed. Fucking is not bad behavior. We didn't say fucking was bad behavior. We but, said fucking I mean, multiple men is bad behavior. Is not bad behavior. Society, society, society does not respect behavior. whores. Society does not respect whores. Even y'all ladies said most women are whores. You ladies do not respect whores. Society in oh, a whole does respect proven. whores. Facts, my man. These are the facts. When we started this podcast, y'all even said most women are whores. So what is y'all talking about? Y'all came on a podcast. But we didn't I never said I didn't respect them. No one says that. He just said he we just don't respect that, whores. Yeah. I well, never well, said that. Well, in your own, you said it by not saying it. You don't have to say, oh, I don't respect them. You're saying that most women are whores. Nah. But you're saying that you don't respect them because you know whore. You just said the sh the shaming term is the word whore. So then you said that most women are whores, which you use the shaming term, which that shaming term is disrespect. And he wasn't, and, and that wasn't a like compliment that, either. It is disrespectful. You Amber Rose took back the slut walk. In a positive movement. And she's, she's single. Whore. And she's single. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's probably a bad by choice. It's probably by choice. Yeah, no. that's what they all say when they can't get the men they want. Oh, I'm single yeah, by can't choice. Get her first, the first guy she wanted. But anyways, y'all ain't China, yeah, heavy on the anyways. Um, Any fucking way. You can't. Can you answer? She gave. Well, did you give an answer? No, she did not give an answer. Okay, none of them gave <laughs> an answer. China, can you give an answer or no? I'm Let's not. go to the woman. Yeah. You said that you were going to her. She has a son. Look, She's been she waiting to get tagged. We're going to get around there. This is my podcast. Wait your turn. I'm going to get over there. We chilling. But you can't give an answer, right? No. All right, cool. What about you, Lee? Your father in your life? No. And that got none your brother of the life? So, yeah. Red flag. All right. And and I, okay. Red flag. Okay. I, I agree. Lee. I agree. Okay, if I were, one. if I were a yeah. mother, yeah. I would want my son to be with 
I guess, the good girl, I guess you could say. Okay. But Be specific. Oh, Who's is, a good girl? Oh. The girl with, with the, the one lower, body. Okay, okay, I just want you to say okay. But, but he, <laughs> it is all up to my son, whatever he chooses, that what he wants to do. So, ladies, Literally. let me just stop you there, right? So, we all know that when you have a kid, everyone has free wills. They're going to do whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. The kid may even want to touch a hot stove, but you're going to say, hey, don't touch that stove. It's hot. Mm -hmm. So you already know that you're going to take certain measures to mitigate risk mm -hmm. from your son getting hurt or damaged. Right. Mm -hmm. So the point is, is that you're still going to take those good answer. You'll choose the girl that has one body count. And that's good because you still should take those same measures just like the hot stove into every situation in your kid's life because yeah. it's his life. He only gets one life. Yeah. So you have to do your job as a parent, as a mother. But the thing is your two friends over here, they don't want to give their kids advice I mean, I did. I mean, why. they I are giving give advice. advice. They technically Whoever are giving advice. Better. It's whatever exactly they what want. That's not advice. But this is a hypothetical question. This is not for not real. Advice? If you had the power, if you were God, and you and you I'm had the choice God. to, that's where y'all. This that's is a that's sin bad. in itself. Do you know yeah, what hypothetical question means? Yeah, yeah. So I got her. I got her. So you just said that that isn't that is advice. If you go to a financial advisor, and you're like, should I invest in this stock? Or this stock. And your financial advisor says, well, they're both good. They're both bad. It's pros and cons on both. But guess what? Choose what you want. Would he be advising you? No. Every, no, exactly. So you ain't giving your son no advice. You're proving my point. So, uh, and uh, China, can you not be on your phone? Very disrespectful on the podcast. I want you to focus in. Um, usually I have Salim take phones, but since he was late, I'd let y'all keep y'all phones. But they anyways, Lee, uh, can I ask your reason to why now? Why would you choose the girl with the one body count? Why? Yeah. Be honest. Okay. Because uh, y'all might hate me on this. No, no one's going to hate no you. No one's going to hate you. The podcast called No um, Fugazi. Speak your mind. As a, as a mom. Now I'm thinking, I'm not a mother, but I'm thinking as a mother of a son. And I obviously have a brother. I have, I wouldn't want my brother or my son to bring in a girl that clearly is experienced more because I know her mindset where she's going with things. So obviously I would want my son to be with the girl that yes, she's less experienced. She's a good girl, whatever. Why? Because she probably has more respect for herself, not more respect for herself because the girl with 25 bodies could also have respect for herself. But who knows? She was probably going through a rough patch in her life. Who, who fucking knows? Let, but, let me ask you a quick question. All three of y'all friends, right? Yeah. You was able to make a discerned decision and actually choose one and, and have a, a, a reason to why and have logic behind your why to back up for the reason why you've chose the girl to have one body count for your son. Yeah. When y'all go out. Are you and be honest mm -hmm. when y'all hang out and stuff? I could be totally wrong, but are you the one in the group that is like it has the most yeah, sense? I, I, not a group. I, I'm not. We don't go out together. Y'all don't go out as group. No. Y'all ever go out together? No. No. It's just this me is and the her second mostly. time I met her. Yeah. But it's the second. Just you and her. Yeah, me and her like occasionally, occasionally, like twice or three times already. Yeah. Who who normally hits up who to like to friends. do things? I know y'all best friends, but but out of these two, right? So China and Lee. When y'all hanging out, y'all want to go out to wherever, whatever y'all want to do, right? Who normally hits up? Who normally has motion? Like, yo, I got this motion going on over here. We about to do this. I feel like it's mutual. It's mutual motion? Yeah. Okay. So, since the motion is mutual, who concedes? So, like, do you ever is like, ah, I'm not really, I'm not really with that. I don't really want to go out. Or I got other things to do. Or I don't want to do that. Maybe another time. Do you ever back out? I ain't no follower. No, That's not a follower. No, I'm not trying no, to see no. who's leading. My question is, uh, is that when y'all have plans, do you ever just be like, ah, I'm, I don't want to do that. I'll just stay home. I can. Um, it depends what we're doing. Like, yeah, I, I'll back out. Not not with her because we have good times, like whatever okay. we have going on. Yeah. But with other friends, yeah, if they like. If they invite me I'm out sure to the club. Out. Yeah, I yeah. don't say. I'm sure you back out of stuff too, right? China? I back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But wait, so I thought y'all was all friends though. Just I was. Just I'm just. I'm just trying there. to think because you said that she had a reason as to why she chose the girl with the one body count, but I gave you a whole different perspective. No, on she actually why. made a choice. 
but you're like you're saying that these two girls are exactly the same you know what i'm saying so how are you gonna say that one girl yeah. is better than the other because of you're like i are saying we're going back to the body count thing so so ladies right we're not you god gave us the ability to 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 make discern decisions to have discernment mm -hmm. but if you don't have the self self-control not even that if you don't if you don't have the intelligence to have the ability to to make a discern to have to make discern decisions then that's just on you right like you'll just keep making mistakes and keep making mistakes and be like oh well the vibe was good i really liked them so, but then he smashed you. He left you. Oh, the vibe was good. I really liked him. Oh, you racked up your body count. The vibe was good. I really liked him. But you've made like really no s s discerned decision in your life. So you keep making the same mistakes over and over. So that's why you have to be decisive instead of indecisive. Like say if I ask you what you want to eat. You're like, oh, I don't know, wherever you want to eat. Most girls do that. But I you want to make more, a decisive decision. I would make a decision if the situation that we're putting in hand was different because we can't, as a, just me, I can't make a decision just off a of body count because that's, to me, so, so that that's does why not matter. Your, yeah, so that's why I can't make matter. a decision. But that's the thing. It's not for you. It's You're for my son. Exactly. And that's why I said for my son whoever the fuck he has more fun with like but you're saying that they're both the same it's so the that's same. why it's you can't make a decision and why are you thinking about fun for your son when it comes to marriage a marriage is commitment a marriage is duty a marriage yeah it can be fun but it's not good the, your priority thinking shouldn't be fun your but priority both the girls are the same should be long term but both the girls are the same the body count their past is different do you think you're 23 years old do you think your past made you the woman that you are currently here today of or course. your past had nothing to do with it my past had absolutely everything, everything to do, to do with it. it exactly so if your past had everything to do with your present right don't you think the girl that your son is going to choose her past is going to have everything to do with her present of course so the one so just girl because has she had 25, 25 men penises in her okay and she could be 35 40, 40. no it doesn't matter what the age is. Okay, but They're that's what I'm saying. They're both the same age. And one had 25 and one had one. But my point is that you can't make a discerned decision. This is why. Because body count doesn't matter. America is doing this. To you. This but to it me. matters to men. Exactly. It matters to men. That's why we would, I would ask you, so you don't to care pick about for your, your son. It will matter to but your I son. But I shouldn't have to pick for my son if my this son This is just a hypothetical. Care. This ain't for real. Okay, but is... that's what I'm saying, though. Like, hypothetically, yeah. Anyways, I'm not, on. like... Uh, and then we get into single you. mothers. Lee camp. for answering the question. Like, well, uh, uh, single single mothers literally breeds de breeds degeneracy in America. Most of school shooters come from shit. single mother like, homes. A lot of are Most of uh, men in prison that committed actually like felonies and stuff like that, and juveniles, um, you know, come from single mother households. Um, you know. It, that's just the facts. But anyways, let's blame these Sandy, absent fathers. Exactly, moving it on not to the you. woman's fault. It's the man's if you fault had, for not being present. If your son had, he came to you with a choice. Hey, uh, mom, um, I really love these two girls equally. Uh, you know, which one should I choose from? Girl A has one body count, and girl B has twenty five body counts. What advice would you give your son? Advice. Yeah, what, what would you advise your son and choose? He said, Mom, which one should I choose? You're a single mom, right? I'm waiting my turn. I got some shit I to really say. feel like we should just go to her. <laughs> answer the question. Which yeah, girl question. do you prefer your son to date? The woman with one body count or the you woman with 25? You had a hard time answering a first question too, Sandy. Um, I think, let me help you out a little bit. Cause it's your first time on the podcast, right? Yes. Cool. So I'll help you out a little bit. Um, so human, human beings, our minds operate in two ways. So we think emotionally about something first. I'm aware. And what, when we think emotionally, we're thinking about not just our side of it, but like how things, how other people's emotions. So we try to protect other people's emotions and our emotions too. So we have that side of thinking and then we have the logical side of thinking meaning that well we know that people are emotional but an answer needs to be uh made here 
So which one would you choose? So I'm saying think with your logical mind, not with your feelings. I know you want to protect That's promiscuous women. <laughs> okay. So which I didn't one? Hear her answer. Well, first, let's just break it clearly down. Mm. Do you want to have kids? Yeah. Okay. So when you do have a kid, say if you have a son, you'll literally be making a copy of yourself. You'll carry that kid in you for nine months. You'll birth him. You'll change his pamper. You'll feed him. Put him on a breastfeed if you if you want to breastfeed, or it could be Similac, whatever you want. But you'll literally raise this kid through elementary, middle school, high school, college, and you've grown true love for your son. And your son loves you. And he said, Mom, I have two choices. I love these women equally. They, they treat me equally. The only thing that's different about them is one has one body count and the other one has 25 body counts. What advice would you give your son? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me also move your mic down a little bit. It's in front of you, please. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be ahead, honest. Sandy. Don't yeah. worry about Speak. what anybody else thinks. Just yeah, be I'm honest. I'm not worried about that. It's so what are you worried about? We're based on body count again. I thought we were going to be talking about relationships today. Uh, body well, this count is plays a big huge part, big part, part of relationships. in relationships. Take you <laughs> huge part are we over this body count Probably, yeah. no we're not um oh, she's tired uh i mean y'all brung it up with the p points that i had contention with with the hoe and homemaker that's why we oh, asked ready. this question yes um respectfully to my son i guess to be fantasy wise um As Lee said, the first A, um, but so the, I would still... So the girl with what? With one body. One, one body, yeah. okay. And why? Um, purity. Mm, there you go. Now you're speaking, Sandy. Holding a lot <laughs> back, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know it's pure. Go ahead. Purity. Um, my parents, they waited till marriage. Okay. Um, so I know of that. And, you know, your flower, you have a flower. And once it's crushed, it's gone. You have chakra down there? <laughs> your chakra? You don't You don't want a lot of people in your chakra, you know? You well, yes. Your chakra, also, everyone messes up with your chakra. the 25, um, when you sleep with so many people, you pick up their energy. And then when you sleep with the next person, they have that energy as well. I don't know if... I have a quick question. I, Are your parents still together? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. How long were they married for? Um, 13, 13 years, I want to say. Th that's okay. a, that's, that's a long time. That's so, a, no, thank you, Sandy. You answered the question. Now, I got to ask you another question. <laughs> yes. Why did you have such a hard time <laughs> answering the question? <laughs> if you actually are fairly based in your answer, your answer was 100% correct. It was 100% logical. And it was 100% the best advice for your son. Why did you have a problem with the body count thing? The body count? Yeah. Like, let me know your, your mental mind frame of why was because that a touchy for you? For the 25, she could be changing her life. She could have had a bad past. She could have been raped, molested, and that would be involved in her I'm body I'm going to stop you right there. The, the percentage of women that have been raped has been like 2%. That reported. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's keep report. it on topic. Sandy, go ahead. Like, let's Finish talk. up. Um, That's a lie. But yeah, and some of us may not want to include that into our body count because that's shame. It brings shame to us. Um, and it's a touchy topic. We don't want to be looked at as victims. Okay. Well, anything else? Um, that was one. Pretty much back to my regular statement of like the 25 body count. She could have been getting her life back on track. Yeah. But Okay. So that, but, 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 okay. So that's the reason. So you're still thinking about, I feel what you're saying. It's like, all right, I, I get what you're saying. But my real question was, why did you have such a hard time answering okay. The first question, like, what were you holding? Why first were you holding back? Or this the one very right first now. question and this question, because both questions you had a hard time answering. So, what, like, why were you holding back? This podcast is called. No full 
No Fugazi <laughs> for a reason. And no Fugazi means be truthful. Speak what's on your mind. Don't hold back your true intentions. Because as a female, yes. I know my emotions get in the way sometimes. Mm, so I put it. them to the side. So you just put them to the side now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wasn't hard. Wasn't hard to do. It wasn't. Thank you, Sandy. Um, Sheesh, I've been waiting for my turn. <laughs> goddamn, sorry. Ooh, right along, I don't it's even need you to repeat the goddamn Go question. <laughs> so, logically, as a mother of a son, yes. I would prefer the one. And why? Because I want my son to be with somebody who is going to love him truly, mm -hmm. right? But relationships, marriage, we don't go off logic. We go off emotion, feelings, past, mm -hmm. ups, downs. So I feel like it's why it's hard to answer that question, period. But if we're sitting here thinking about it logically, because that's how you want us to answer it, well, it would be yeah. the one body yes. versus the 25. On to you, Miranda. With the one body. One body, and why? And I'm sorry, Miranda, you see how your mic is back here? Yeah. Just go like this. Push it forward? Yeah. That's good? Uh, a little bit closer. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm sure there's a statistic. They're probably... Uh, there are. Better with I'll commitment. Go over that. Like they're probably more committed. Yeah. Someone with one versus twenty-five. Yep. So. Yep. Explain. Go. Uh, be more. Uh, you know. Uh, go into a little bit more detail with commitment because well, I agree so, with you. I, I think sometimes, and I'm a victim of it as well. When women are hurt, sometimes you get resentful. Other, you know, I could go in with that, but it's like I think if you've only been with one per. I would say I would want my son to go with somebody with zero bodies, but we're Facts. going with an option of one versus 25, so I'll go with the one. But I think it's just that person is going to be more about them because they haven't had a lot of other options. Oh, smart, oh. smart choice. And it was a study done, and it showed that once a woman reaches a body count between five or six, her percentage to maintain a long-term relationship drops down to 20 percent and um it's a, also a multitude of other reasons why i i have a son and i would definitely you know advise my son one my son wouldn't even ask me because i would instill the certain traits into him so he could make a discerned choice but if he did ask me i'm going with one not only just the statistics men and women were different like women y'all know if you had all them relationships with guys it's going to be harder for you to pair bond with another guy like you're going to miss tyrone you're going to miss, you know, Jared and Jared. Maybe you had a special Ooh. connection with Jared and he was cool, but maybe Jared was inadequate in other ways. Like, think about it. Jared was broke. So things really didn't work out and he lacked ambition. But Jared was very funny and very charismatic. Now, when you break up with Jared, he got he left an imprint on you in some way, because then you're going to be comparing Jared to Nicholas. Right. And now when you with Nick, Nick got money and Nick is cool, but he's just not as funny as Jared. Like he just don't have that charisma that Jared has. So then you start to compare, compare and contrast the men that you've had and be before in the past to your present guy, which then it's like th that genuine desire that you would, that you had for Jared or that you had for guys and you're maybe your first to five bodies. It kind of findles away. Any questions? Mm -mm. No questions. If y'all don't have any questions, then we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to get on to the next question, which I'm probably not going to like. Um, <laughs> if it has we, anything to do with body count, we gonna, I'm so We're going to keep beating it in since y'all don't like the topic and, and y'all not understanding. <laughs> well, we're, we're all single. Hour, like, What's eh? everyone oh, single? Oh, Sandy got a question? Yeah. Go ahead, Sandy. We're all single. What's everyone's single experience like? We all single. Well, we got to. OK, we're all single. What's your single experience? How can we make this a concise question without it? Just be like more, yeah. more you could answer it. Direct question. Yeah, get like, what are you looking for with um, your single experience? Like how did a date go or like? Yeah. So like something. Are you what? looking at yourself? So, oh, sorry. If you're looking, how is that experience going in the single life or dating wise? Okay, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, are you having good? Are you having good experience in the dating pool, or are you having bad experience? Yeah, that's a good one. Good job, he's <laughs> start with a Miranda. Miranda, uh, you're single, and you've been single for a year and a half. Are you having a good experience right now, being single, or a bad experience? And why? Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna answer the question because we have to answer questions on here. Yeah. I would say bad, but I'm neutral because. It's not the end all be all yeah. if I don't date. So it's not like I wouldn't say good or bad, but um, we were talking about this earlier. I think it's um, 
I, t- I don't really go out. So like if I if you don't go out, you don't meet people. Mm-hmm. All I can meet people is through online. And yeah. I feel like that is hard, especially being a little bit older than the rest of the group. It's definitely getting more challenging. So not ideal. But I think I have faith because you have to have faith that something good will happen. Otherwise, it definitely won't. But I think I probably just have to put myself out there more for more good things to happen. But even like this week, some guy asked me on a date. Um, it, this is actually funny to me. He asked me sure. on a date. We, we matched on Tinder. Yeah, we were texting, asked me on a date. I'm like, okay, cool. It's a day of the date. He's like, okay, you're still on. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, can you send me a picture of you? I'm like, first of all, why are you like, it's the day of the date. He's like, Does I'm he a nervous. Instagram. He has no Instagram. He said oh, he has no Instagram. He has no. I said. I said. Why don't you ask me for my Instagram? He doesn't have Instagram. Okay, fine. Ooh, okay. But then it's like I could just send you more pictures if it's not, uh, like if it's not me. Like what is that? How is that like solidifying that for you? Like I could just send you more pictures. Yeah. And it not and I could still be someone else. So like. To FaceTime. Me, did you did you offer up a did he offer up a FaceTime? No. So you never did I sent pictures. He said, oh, those are the pictures on your profile. I'm like, OK, I just sent him other pictures. And he okay. was like, he was like, oh, girls, um, girls, girls, I know be catfishing out here. And I said, OK. And then so he canceled the date. On, he canceled the he date. He canceled the date. <laughs> oh, OK, OK. So he wow. said, so you sent other pictures and he said, girls be catfishing on here. Well, did you the pictures the that you sent, did they coincide with the other pictures that yeah. you seen? OK, yeah. OK. Absolutely. And then why did. Why didn't you bring a face on? Did you just say you, you could have just been like, well, "Hey, what you I was face like, on? I was at the gym. He was like, can, I, I was literally at the gym working out. Yeah. He was like, oh, can um, can you send me pictures? So I just sent him more pictures, and then he said, uh, well, "What was his reason for canceling? Work meeting? Was uh, he, uh, it was a lie. Clearly. What, what, what's his race? What was his race? He was white. Okay. What's your? Uh, we gonna add another question into this. Your experience okay. with dating, and then what's your type? Okay. So what's your type of guy? <laughs> Like what's your um, what's your ideal type of man? And let's do it so I can help you ladies out. Okay. Let's do um, race, height, income, and. I already answered this. Girl. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Race, height, and income. Race doesn't matter. I've dated all races, so it's irrelevant to me. Okay. Height, I'm like five eight, so yeah. I'd love someone who's over six foot. I've dated people who are five ten. I've dated people who are shorter than me. Usually, the shorter men. This is controversial. Get yeah. don't like it. Yeah. They, everyone says, oh, you're whatever. No, I've dated smaller men. They don't like it. So I would say prefer six foot above. Well, um, the smaller men probably don't like it because one, you probably dominate, dominate in that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so they like, no, wait, wait, but, if, but if this is the thing. If I say I don't like a guy who's five, nine, it's controversial. It's not. That's it, your preference. I, no, I'm just saying, though, in ge- in a general sense, people are like, you don't like short kings, whatever. It's like, I don't like it based off of these facts that have happened to me. But um, no, so, I, 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 but I, I, I mean, I would never get on a woman for their preference. So, yeah, yeah. I was going to say preference. So height, race, income. Yeah. What's the income now? Um, Like minimum. Minimum. Yeah. Minimum. I would say 90K. Perfect. And Ooh, uh, girl. Well, I make cook. Yeah, you make around so there, like, so you want him to make yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, right. I want someone to do what I do. Got okay. you. Cool. Thank you. And what you say your name was again? Hazel. Hazel. Thank you. <laughs> Good memory, Miranda. Hazel. Um, so first, Sandy's question is, uh, what's your dating life now? You said that you're single. Mm-hmm. Is it bad or good and or why? I'm chilling. I'm worried about the money. Okay. So you get into the bag. Yes. Um, but you did say in the beginning of the podcast that you are you know, casually dating, right? Mm-hmm. That's what you said. And how's that going for you? Is it good or bad? It's great. I it's keep good. my life a secret. What's, what'd you say? I keep my life a secret. So okay, when nobody knows. The, yeah, you keep it on the low. You dating, mm-hmm. so it's good for you. But and are you having good experiences with the dating so good. far? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, it's, uh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, that's all And right. um, how many guys are you dating? Five right now? I'm or? not dating like five. No, I'm talking about... You got one main or you got mm-hmm. a you got a main one. aside? No, one. Just one? Mm-hmm. You like him? He like you? Yeah. Okay. I ain't trying to rush nothing. You know how that be. Mm-hmm. Well, he, well, did you already give up the box? No. Oh, you ain't get, you ain't give up the box yet, no. to him. Oh, okay. So yeah, you still got the power right now. I always have cool. the power. Um, well, once you give up the box, if he Mm-mm. understands his value, you don't got no more power, baby. We'll see. Because men hold the key to relationships. So once you give up the box, mm-hmm. guess what? He could just be like, oh. 
you could make him wait a year. Oh, you finally gave up the box? <laughs> you didn't qualify for a relationship. Peace. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? So then you have to acquiesce your behaviors to mm-hmm. still get something more out of him, if that makes sense. Just like him right now. He's like acquiescing his behaviors to show you good experiences out on dates and to hopefully, you know, at the end of the rainbow, there's treasure. Because <sighs> oh? mm-hmm, okay. this Meow Meow 3000 is something. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. Uh, Sandy, I'll let you go last since it's your Wait, question. But she didn't say she, tight. Didn't you was doing oh. me real dirty <laughs> on my first time on here. Tight. <laughs> Shit. Just describe um, the dude, I, I guess. Or yeah, I describe your ideal type because he may I not don't be your ideal type. I don't have no preference for race. No um, prefer- so you'll date a Chinese guy? Sure. We vibe. You ever dated a Chinese guy? No. Okay, then. Yeah, that ain't your type. <laughs> you'll date a, uh, a, um, a Indian, Pakistan, with the dot. No, but I'm part Indian, so I don't mind. No, you Cherokee Indian, like Native American, or are you like Indian with the mm-hmm. Habib? Hey, I just don't have the. Okay, so you don't you don't mind dating a uh, Ahmed? No, okay. I wouldn't mind dating uh, Ahmed. What about a Mexican? Hey, mommy, underlay. <laughs> Been there, <laughs> Been there, done that. Hey. Fuego, they just was not that? like that. That's mm. a little too much. They salsa. They do they die. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, you want some tacos, Holmes? <laughs> <You're disgusting. laughs> I just don't have preference. Like you don't got. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. And height. <laughs> I've dated shorter than me and taller than me. What's so, your preference, though? With height. See, my preference taller than me, and I'm like five three, five four. Okay, so five five. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. And um, I have you go last. Go with that. I forgot a question. Income. It don't matter. To oh, me. income. Dang. Okay. Good job, Sandy. <laughs> don't wait. Wait. Time out. Income. If he makes fifteen thousand dollars a year, I don't care about money. Okay, I make so my own money. Look, here you go. Year. Let's do the math. It's like fucking um, minimum wage. Like <laughs> Are you saying like prefer like if I could choose right, so perfectly? That's, that's one thousand two hundred fifty dollars a month. The rent he can't even afford rent. That's him. Yeah, but that's definitely business. the guy that's. This is your ideal man. Ideal, okay, ideal. To live my expensive lifestyle, let me give me six figures. Hundred thousand. Okay, fair mm-hmm. enough. And let's go with um, me. Yeah, Lee. Um, so first question is uh, Sandy's question. What's your experience? You've been single. You've been single since March, right? Since February. Oh, since February. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, since you've been single, how's your dating experience been? Has it been good or bad? Uh, if I'm being honest, I would say it's been uneventful. Okay. Just because, like she said, I don't put myself out there as much. I don't go out as much. And I can't... Do you do, like, online dating, too? Like, Tinder, Bumble, stuff like that? Not Tinder or anything. I... Like, do you do Instagram. dating apps? Just Instagram. Just Instagram. Well, yeah, that's the biggest dating app. Yeah, okay. just Instagram. Really? Um, but... Yeah. Well, you meet everybody yeah, there, you meet basically. Everybody, um, and I... I would say it's complicated because I still talk to my ex or whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, your ex is still sliding in between them soul gaps and hitting it occasionally. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's not. We don't have any sexual intercourse. We just. So you. So y'all yeah, was having sex in the past. When we were together. Yeah. Y'all was together. But now we're you're still talking to your ex, but you don't give him no box. No. So y'all hang out one on one. We don't you, even hang out. So how y'all still talking? You mean you just texting just, and stuff? Yeah. Entertainment. Okay. I think you're it's more comfortability. I think it's more comfortability. I've comfortability with- for you. For him, he want the cookie again. <laughs> he trying to get he the cookie monster. He trying to get in your jar. <laughs> cookie monster. <laughs> yeah, cookie I monster. guess. But yeah, uh, I don't know. It's complicated. Fair enough. And uh, what's your type? So okay. let's go with height first. Well, I'm four eleven, so anything past that is tall. Okay, um, but my Five preference foot. is yeah. Like what's your preference? Like when you. Feet. Okay, six foot. Yeah, like a tall guy. Got you. And that's um, what we're talking about. Preferences, like like what you desire. Yeah. So six foot and then race. And then race. Dominican. Um, no, hell fucking no. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Hola. Yeah. Puerto Rican. Amicita. Yeah, that's you not how they talk. Un poquito, you know, mami. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, I would say Puerto Rican guys. Puerto Rican? Yeah. Okay. Um, No black guys? Uh, I haven't... China looking like yeah, we is with we is with Tyrone the other day. You know. 
<laughs> she, no, I, if I'm being honest, I've never turned over that leaf. You never turned over the leaf. No. Curious? Sometimes, because every what I hear from friends and stuff like that, you know, I'm like, <laughs> Once damn, you go like, black, you'll never go back. <laughs> yeah, like wait, 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 that hold on. What do you hear from friends? Wrong, what do you hear from your friends, uh, though? Yeah, what China be telling you? <laughs> 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 She's not my only friend that you know chooses okay, that okay. that type. But hold on, but what are they saying about black guys that makes you curious? Well, we didn't even know China choose that type. Well, now. Well, we what know. I've seen. Well, what I've seen personally. I ain't even seen. I ain't even gonna lie. A majority of them, majority of black guys treat girls a hundred times better than Spanish guys. I ain't even gonna lie hey, on that. Black men, we up. But because um, my experience with Spanish That's guys. That's the best thing you said all night. Wow. Yes, it is. I mean, you. you did. You did. You made a. You did choose the answer yeah. one, and then that's the second best thing. All but right. it's just because Span- Mike's. Well, that's all I've. You know, I've been with, just dated Spanish guys, yeah. and they were trash. Super trash. Super mm-hmm. trash. Super trash. Boys. You know. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't, don't 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 get on my poppies. You know I got some. I got friends that's poppies. You know. Well, they are are winning right now. Just the sassy, yeah, they are sassy. Mm-hmm. They sassy. But and then the other thing, obviously, we all know what we hear about black guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that Gosh, that like, brings the curiosity into it. Like damn, yeah, like mm. is it as good as everybody says it? Like you know what I mean? So yeah. it is. Stick with stick with your Spanish uh, dudes. Uh, Continue to you know. Continue to t- continue wow. to get that pot to Leo. You don't want to come over here <laughs> to the Anaconda stage. No, oh all y'all got that. Uh, be happy with your, with your empanada. <laughs> empanada. <laughs> but um, okay, that's your type of income. Income, um, ideal income, I would say like seventy k and up. Fair enough. Yeah. And uh, China, aka Bella, or Bella, aka China, whichever one you prefer. Um, mm-hmm. how's dating going for you in 2023? You've been single since March, right? Yeah. So you just been single. Um, is it good or is it bad? And or why? It's good. I'm out here focused on me and money, and I entertain who I want to entertain, how I want to entertain them. Um, and I'm high value. A lot of men see that, so they approach me the right way. So I'm just having my way. As you should. As you should. Um, As you fucking should. Uh, my type. Dark you think skin. Of, before we get to your type, you said your yeah. high value. What makes you high value? How I carry myself, my mentality, how I maneuver in life, my wants and needs, where my head at, what how, I bring to the table. How can a, a man know those things about you from, you how know? How I present myself and when they get to know me. Oh, like that's after they already know you. Then that's when you're saying that that's when those traits that you have come out. After they know me, what you mean? Well, my point is that like it's a beginning stage of talking and then it's actually you talking, talking. Mm-hmm. Right? I think it starts from the beginning. I think yeah. it's just how she carry herself. Yeah, yeah. How I carry so my question. So like details, how do you carry yourself? Because when I hear that, like ease, when we hear that, it's just like, well, what do you mean? Carry yourself. Right, right. Like explain. Self-respect. Yeah, I have self-respect. I don't be going for anything. Not people really hearing much of probably about her. Yeah. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. Just assertiveness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how do you portray your self-respect? I respect myself. I respect others. And I demand respect. Okay. Um, but how do you portray your self-respect? Meaning that how can someone see that self-respect within you? Like how would that be portrayed? Because how you act is going to determine if a guy's going to take you serious or not. How like, I act. Well, well, not even that. I'm talking about like, because you said that self-respect. And I'm asking, my point is, is that how can the man, what's your self-respect that the man would see? Like, oh, self-respectful woman. Like, I'm not out here doing anything crazy. Okay, cool. So you're not out in the streets. Yeah. Okay. What else? I'm focused on, on money and myself. How can the man like, see the focus? They don't see me nowhere. <laughs> okay. Mm. I guess. I guess. Not where the money is. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. You can only see me where the money at. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they're like, so men don't care about a woman's money. So it's like when, like you said that your high value in your eyes, perfectly fine. Yeah. But in a man's eyes, like we don't care about money. To humble me. 
No, no, I'm not trying to humble oh, okay. humble you. No, I said that your self respect on how you value yourself is valid because yeah. that's how you view yourself. But you always got to look at like uh, the other side of things because mm-hmm. there's is your perspective and your perception of things, and then it's like, well, what does he perceive? Or what do they perceive of me? So you got to think about it that way. So that's why I'm like, well, how do you portray self-respect? Because I'm on the outside or other men are on the outside. They may not see what you see in yourself. So how do you, because you would have to portray that outwardly so they could actually see how you see yourself. If that makes sense. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it okay. makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> like, you don't be going for nothing. Like, yeah, you like, make it known. She yeah, makes it known from it jump. Known. Like, this is what it is. And that's kind of like okay, how she so demands her self respect. So you direct with, yeah. with, with stuff. And okay. Like, I'm She's real, very I'm direct. Like Judge Judy. Yeah, I'm direct. And I'm like, Judge Judy. Like, you do one thing, you're done. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that means that, okay, that's standards that you have then. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm not going to tolerate that. Mm-hmm. So you have. You're intolerant of mm-hmm. of men inadequacies. Yeah. Okay. It could also be like her image on social media too. Like she might not. Post yeah, I'm not out here like shit. posting ass and shit yeah. like that. Like no shame to that, but yeah, I just don't do that. Well, you just contradicted yourself. It is shame to that because you said. No, I'm first, saying like no shame to the women that do that. Like oh, it is shame to you. You pretty much just said that it yeah, is shame you just to the women yourself. by saying that. Well, she's not out there posting pics like that. No shame to. The, well, you just said that she's no, not I'm doing No, I'm saying so like to her, that's like shameful. that's probably like yeah, but how it shows. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying, but I'm okay. saying to her like that's probably how it shows like she has respect for herself and shit. So yeah, and uh, ladies, don't think I'm getting on y'all. If I had men up here and men was talking, like, yeah, bro, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I was. I was at this job and I, you know, couldn't really keep that or, you know, I was talking to this girl, but, you know, she she dissed me or whatever like that. Or I, I was about to get the box, but like, man, she dubbed me. She flaked on me. Or oh, this other girl flaked. I will be getting on them, too. Like, nigga, you doing mad stuff wrong. What's going on Facts. with you? You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you you're not making no bread. What's going on with you? So well, women don't know us. Us men, we get on each other a lot about that stuff. A like, lot. yo, bro, like, yo, you a like, bomb. It's, it's like, a, like, why you dress nothing, like that? Like, no, nothing, no, nothing wiggles off. Is is never like, oh yeah, you know. It's if it's our homies, our close friends. Of course, it's like we go about it like, I love you, dog. But come on, man, let, let's get it. Get it together. If it's dudes that we don't know, we don't even respect them dudes at all. It's like, yeah, hey, get away from me, man. Ugh, pitch yeah, be exactly. gone. So what I'm saying is, those whores or promiscuous women are women that. Uh, don't have those the value that you see in yourself and you know that that woman doesn't have that value but i'm saying that the value that i see in myself and i don't see the value in other men they get shamed all the time they get a bomb yeah i don't surround myself with low tier yeah but my point is that anyways women try to coddle other women that's what i'm saying but um let's get on to your type yeah oh first thing there's no such thing as a high value woman too yeah um, uh, value is determined by the market mm-hmm. The market determines their value So since all women My point is that there's no such thing as a high value woman Because all women are valuable But all men aren't valuable all right. So that's my point So since all men aren't valuable He has to work to earn his value And then he'll be along with other valuable men But there then are top men high value men right Mm -hmm. so there's valuable men men that made something of themselves so they bring value to the and to the world and then there's the high value men that even those valuable men look up to but for women y'all all just have value okay so there's no such thing as a as a low value woman because someone gonna wife her or someone she ain't she ain't gonna be on the street someone gonna give her a, a roof over her head so it's no such thing as a low value woman but um type what's your type um tall like six foot over dark skin handsome what's dark skin my complexion or his complexion either or none of y'all <laughs> you want him darker <laughs> i'm gonna get to you diamond <laughs> okay you yeah, like him dark. Ain't nothing real. wrong with that, Diamond. Complain. I actually don't. So, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> y'all just not dark skin. Y'all brown. Yeah, y'all are brown. <laughs> All right, I guess so. <laughs> but uh, so you said dark skin over six foot, and then what's the income? Uh, hundred k. Hundred k. Brett, Brett, say no more. And um, Diamond, how has been? This is Sandy's question. How has been <laughs> dating? <I'm sorry. laughs> dating for you 
And you said you've been single since when? Since April. 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 So how has been the single life and dating been for you? Has it been good or bad and or why? Um, it's been good because like even when I was kind of like in my last relationship, like I kind of wanted to be single, but I felt kind of trapped in my situation. So I think now I feel like I'm free again. I'm finding myself again. Like it feels good. I'm not really looking for no man because I feel like I'm not healed 100 percent. Yeah, I'm not really ready for a relationship myself. Because I think the one thing that I learned in my past relationship is that, like, hurt people hurt people. So, like, mm-hmm. I want to be 100%, like, you know. Ready? A ready, high frequency, just ready to give what I want. Good for, for you. For That's you. good. Would That's you, good. Um, see how you are able to make that discernment within yourself? Like, you use your own self, like, you know, I've experienced, I've been hurt before in my past and I have healing to do. And you're looking at your life and you're making, you're viewing your life in a logical way, Mm -hmm. right? Now, what my point is, is that no human being is special. The past matters because your past matters to you. See how your past just mattered to you? We already went through that. I did say past. Yeah, I know. But my point is, is that you could use that same discernment that you just use with yourself with giving your son advice to not choose the woman that has 25 bodies because she had 25 individuals, which I'm sure she experienced, maybe not 25 hurts, but she experienced a lot more hurt than that girl that had one. So you see what I'm saying? Like you could use your no, own No, I get where you're to, saying, like, like how she said, like statistically, like you would want your son to be with somebody who has one body, but I don't think that way. Like, to me, I think the woman who had more experience is smarter because for me, like the things that I like, the dumb stuff that I went through, like I like that I went through it because it makes me who I am today. So So technically, I get it. I get what you're saying. Like, as a man, like y'all want the girl who's more pure or whatever, whatever the case may be. But to me, your question was both the girls are the same. You know, one has a higher body count. Who would you want your son to be with? So question for you, right? You said something, you said that I know that I went through my past experiences and that made me smarter because I was able to overcome it. Now, would you want, would you want your son to be with a smart girl? Because smart people have to go through things to then overcome it, to then learn from what they have then went through. Right. A wise woman would say, hey, well, I see other people are going through things, so I'm not going to walk down that alleyway. I'm not going to take that path. I'm not going to make that decision. I'm going to... Um, have I'm going to hold my value and cherish my value and not sleep around with 25 guys and only had one ex in my past. Do you get what I'm saying? No, so I definitely be, get what you're you saying. Make a I, wise just, I think too deep into things. I think that's why I couldn't just make a decision because to me, like I said, there's so many factors. Yeah, that but I'm go saying that it's, it's actually the opposite of deep. It's surface is because I'm getting deep. You see how I was able to break it down from smart and wise right so a smart person learns from their own mistakes a wise person learns from other people mistakes Mm -hmm. meaning that they don't have to make those same mistakes so the girl with one body count she's wise the girl with 25 body count she possibly could be smart but uh, still was made a lot of dumb 25 dumb decisions do you get what i'm saying so like that's and your past molds you to who you are right and guess what uh, a woman that experiences less is more happy. The stuff that you experience today, like you, the stuff that you experienced in your past made you have to heal. So you're like not as happy as before you experienced that. You get what I'm saying now? So yeah. when you experience less, you're just genuinely happy more. So that girl that has one body count, that's literally the best choice for your son because that would make him most happy and she would be most happy in that relationship. The girl that had 25, well, she experienced a lot. She had to, even if she overcame a whole lot, it's still like, well, she's not going to be as happy because as the girl us, that uh, had one. Us men, we look at it like this. A girl that has 25 compared to the one, we look at it like this because for one, men are simple 
and we're easy to please. You know what I'm saying? So, and women, they can attract a lot of guys. Maybe not always the one that they want, but they can attract a lot of guys. And most women want relationships. So, if you were able to, to attract 25 guys and none of them wanted to make you their girlfriend, marry and have kids with you, then we're going to be like, yo, what's wrong with this girl? Yeah, what because he's saying is that most women have the ability to attract men, but they lack ability in retaining men. So just because you can attract a whole lot of men, well, that's no kudos. You couldn't retain anything of them. Of course, you can attract a lot of men because all men want to do is just have sex with you. So you can attract a thousand men in one day if you really, really wanted to. You could. And they could all smash and be inside your soul guts. But um, so retaining a hun a, a, all those a thousand men, <laughs> that's extremely hard. But then not only that is retaining the man that you genuinely love it, and admire and respect. Because y'all all can. I know all you ladies right now can go in your inbox on instagram and it's not that's one guy that been begging baby please let me take you out on a date baby please i'll do anything for you it's that one guy you know mm -hmm. he'll give you a relationship but you don't want him but the guy that you do want mm -hmm. he like you say man he be acting too bougie or he be acting too light-skinned or he be acting too too uh sassy sassy now <laughs> like oh he, he playing he playing games well he not playing games he just got, that options. Nigga got options he got and options guess what you ain't one of those valid options for him so it's like that's the get that's the dating and relationship game we talking about and the majority of men don't have a lot of options that's what yeah, we want only attracted to a very small group of men and uh right before you i'm gonna let you end it too with your type um because I, I know you had a question before well like What's like the, the sexuality and men and all of this other type of stuff? Since the beginning of time, 80% of women procreated. So that means that 80% of women had the ability to make a copy of themselves. But only 40% of men since the beginning of time had the ability to procreate. So that means that most women sleep with the same subgroup of small men. Yeah, Eskimo sisters. Y'all all like the same nigga. Generally speaking, not like individually but generally speaking most women like the same and over six foot somewhere if, if it's 100k great and you know uh big dick energy and charisma <laughs> you get what i'm saying y'all all like that of course there's other details like his morals his standards how he makes you feel you know is he funny you know is he good with his family and your family exactly but y'all won't care about that until unless he looks good yeah y'all don't care about none of that unless the other things not even looks but the other th the charisma is the big thing because women are e slaves to their emotions so since you are emotional creatures you want to feel the vibe with the man and the only way a man can make you feel that vibe and make you feel like i had a good time he got to be charismatic you know what i'm saying so it's a hard skill to have if that makes sense but anyways uh diamond what's your type? any whore um black oh word Dark skin, light skin. Black, black. Just black. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm taller than me. I'm five two. You'll take five three. Mm -hmm. Like that's your that's your preference. No, my prefer. I don't have a preference in height. Okay, fair enough. But just taller than you. Yeah. Um. Income. I think I said this on the last podcast, but um, two hundred a day cool for me oh 200 a day like so if you work and you calculator. make 200 mm -hmm. that's 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 in the six figures fam mm -hmm. it is two three hundred a day uh, nah, it's, uh, it's uh uh 72,000 a year oh. yeah so 72,000 a year that's okay. a number that was in that's, my a, head that's above average that's comfortable like all right <laughs> this nigga funny um all right cool fair enough man uh Thank you. Oh, Sandy, you got to answer your own question now. <laughs> oh uh, how is dating for you, Sandy? Um, at first what's, it was... And, and what's... The, well... Online dating. you single and you do online dating. Yeah. Okay. But um, but is it yeah. good or bad? And or why? So, in the beginning, it was bad. Um, I met... Oh, I'm sorry. I keep doing that. In the beginning, it was bad. Um... The guy I got with that I met with, he was rushing things, like a little too quickly. Trying to smash? No, not even that. So you already smashing. He was trying to like, mm -hmm. like get with you. 
Yeah, it was just like too soon, and it wasn't even a month time frame. How tall was he? His height? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't taller than me five nine. I don't know. Was his, What's his race? Dominican. Mm. Sheesh. 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 Okay. Uh-huh. Away from them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. The reason why I asked that, I was just trying to measure the man's value, but I'm sure you don't know his income and stuff like that. But obviously, if he's oh, trying I to know. rush into a relationship with, he's low value. But um. Okay. So that guy you were talking to, Cut obviously, he came off too strong. Mm-hmm. But other than that, how's dating been for you? Um. I took a break. Took some time to heal for myself. And wait, how long you been single for? Like two months. Oh, so you fresh out the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You still talk to your ex? I don't talk to any of my exes. You don't talk to Period. any of them? No. So you cut off pus- pussy access? What you mean? They to got them? no more vagina oh, yeah. to your... No, they got no more access blocked. to your vagina. They all blocked. They all gone. Oh, they all gone. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when's the last time you had sex? Dude. <laughs> uh, don't lie, Sandy. Around she that said time she could frame. smell it on you. I ain't <laughs> say shit. She smell it on you. Oh yeah, it was around God. that time frame, Jesus pretty Christ. much. She was around the ex? No. Oh, you went right on Tinder and was like, come slay this daddy. I'm, I'm single now. <laughs> no, that one was. Mm-mm. He was a rebound and it was just weird. Okay, he was a rebound. Yeah. It was weird. Mm-hmm. So he, oh, so that was never gonna last. You all know rebounds don't ever last. Yeah, he of was. Course. He was a rebound. So she you already like had him in mind anyway. Yeah, pretty if he much. Was a I found him, and so he he was part of the reason why you was able to like n- move not, past. Not, not not break up with the man, but he was. No, that, he wasn't in the picture then. Oh, he wasn't in the picture then. No, I mean he came along pretty quick. Are you sure he wasn't in the picture? No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Remember, um, it's easy for women to get sex, fam. It is easy. Yeah, Way easy. Go on Tinder it's and be like, how crazy come over. Man, you ask you over. when she's done? Yeah. Like, can you answer the question? Um, sure. Table left turn. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we <laughs> fall on the spot. Um, let me finish up mine. My type. Yeah. Um, <laughs> black and Hispanic. Um, okay, she like flavor. Yeah. <laughs> White, they can't handle me. Get on board, um, Lee. Oh, I'm sorry. Spicy. Uh, <laughs> height at least taller than me. I'm like five three. So if you could be like five four above, income, uh-huh. thirty eight k and above. Thirty eight k and above. Yeah, Man, a year. Right. Oh, That's like sixteen seventeen dollars an hour. Calculator. Thirty eight k. That's like a typical waitress. All right, so that's three thousand one hundred sixty-six a month. Yeah, yeah. Divided by it's average, took like up a little above seven hundred ninety-one dollars a week. He could take you to um, Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's. Hey, if he save his bread, he could take you to Applebee's. Okay, she fine with Applebee's. Say no more. Two for twenty. <laughs> two for twenty. <laughs> yeah, two for twenty. Oh, fair enough. Fair Applebee's. Enough. Applebee's fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um. All right, so you said black, Dominican, taller than you. But what's Other your Hispanics as well. Hispanic. I said they're all welcome. Wait, what was the actual height, though? Did we get to that? Height or taller Did than me, like 5'5 five, 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 five or above, 5'4. Five, oh, 5'5 five, five or above. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. All right, cool. Which gender, men or women, um, are, is better at hiding when they cheat? Women, because we're way sneakier, sneakier and I think men are just dumb, so it's like... Super mm-hmm. dumb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to cover their tracks. Where women, they're more. We analyze everything. I was just about to say analytical about yeah. what we do. The reason why. We, oh, no, 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 no. Just let them go around. <laughs> All right. Say less. <laughs> let them go around. <laughs> <laughs> you came up for this one. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Diamond? That's fair. There. Okay. What about you, China? I think women. Okay. Yeah. And why? Because, um,. We just know how shit get. <laughs> like, it's easier to hide things. Men are stupid. Or, like, maybe oh, they're not even that stupid. China, they can, you, just... can you push it yeah, that way? Towards Damn, me? all right. Um, they might not be that stupid. They just probably don't care. But, anyways, um, I don't know. Men, I mean, women catch men cheating all the time. So we know what not to do. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. So women is eating. Women are, you know, better at cheating. What about we you? Up a thousand. I definitely say women. But you have to teach yeah. us the ropes. We just know how to do it better. Men. So men teach women the ropes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Guess what? You just did. What? So your friends. You what? proved my point. Men are whore makers and women are whores. Now, let me just give you a quick oh synopsis God. of it real quick. <laughs> okay, quick back to this. No, because you just proved it, right? And it gave me another thought to prove it to y'all, right? So the only reason why, like you just said, women are better at cheating is because they learn it from men. Is be- Why did they learn it from men is because they've got cheated on before. So then mm-hmm. they, they know the game. And not only that, either that man that they slept with Maybe that he was they wasn't even in a relationship with him, but he was in a relationship and he was cheating on his girl with you. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you learn. So that's why men are whore makers. Men make girls whores because men and society, men and women, are the entire whores. society, men and women, the entire society, we all value purity in women, right? Mm-hmm. So since we value purity in women, once you have sex with the men and you don't get commitment, a true commitment or a ring, mm-hmm. then Guess what? It's right then and there. That's when it starts. It's like, oh, wow. He was a bad, it's a bad guy you chose. So now it's like, okay, well, I'm going to just go ahead and get him back. Oh, he showed me how, he showed me how it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, or that behavior that he showed you, you're going to bring into your next relationship. So that's why men are like, they literally make whores. And guess what? It is just as bad as whores. I'm not saying that whores are worse than whore makers. (laughs) <laughs> men making whores is just as worse yeah. it's the same as far They're as making whores as far as the uh, are the s- men no, are the as problem. far as the sin of it right <laughs> the sin of it but the reason why a man can can't be a whore is because men that are good with women and that can sleep around with women we don't, we don't shame them we call them pimps and players we don't call them whores because it's hard to do Makes sense. So since it's hard to do, they're sleeping around and they're they literally have to bring bring value to the women that they sleep with. Right. Because you could just say, like you said before, well, no, he could be ugly. He could be broke. But, you know, he could be have a good mouthpiece. What's a good mouthpiece? That's charisma. So he's making that woman feel the vibe. That's value. He bringing value to that woman in order to get the box. So is this making sense now? Why men are whore, men are whore makers and women are whores. No, still no. Did that connect the dots a little bit? Let's agree to disagree. Right. Yeah, we move I forward. guess. Yeah. Yes, but uh, next, next, made a little next, sense next. there. But it made a little bit more. Yeah, yeah it made more sense there more. when I threw that that in there. Yeah, but and you ain't throw it. I took it and I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it. Exactly. All right. The alley oop. Right, you did the alley oop and I dunked it. Okay, cool. Fair <laughs> enough. So, um, anything else on why it's easier? Why women are just better at cheating? Because I, f- uh, and because I feel like guys are careless. They just, you guys don't really care. I'll yeah. give y'all perspective at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, she's gonna make sense. I'm like, oh, I never thought someone. of that. <laughs> I'm about it all. Oh, you, oh, okay. Yeah, you guys are. My man. Uh, Sandy. 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 I was about to call Thank you, you freaking uh, Samson. Sandy. Samson. <laughs> Samson <laughs> got it. Oh, no, sorry. Um, I was talking about thinking about the dog when I was <laughs> <laughs> not saying that's why I'm crazy the dog. But. Oh, God. Um, Sadly, I have to say woman, just because my, I mostly grew up with guys as friends and stuff. So hearing their experiences and I'm like, that's crazy. She did that to you? Like, what? Yeah. No way. And just constantly hearing stories after story of how a woman broke a guy's heart and then they turn into a hoe. As well, yes. Um, hey, oh, yes. Proving my point that men are whore makers <laughs> and women are whores because a, a man will break a woman's heart and then that would then cause an effect. Now she's like, she's she's experienced trauma. So it's like, okay, well, when I date the next guy, well, guess what? I'm just going to give up my box because this guy didn't treat it right. So guess what? If he didn't treat it right, I really loved him. Well, guess what? I'll give it up to this guy too. Mm-hmm. Can I piggyback off of that? Sure. I feel like you agree. That now. goes the same for men because mm-hmm. I think that men, in a way, a woman can break his little heart. It could be his mom even, and that's mm-hmm. why he's a whore. No, no, no. That's what I was you going forget with. the you. You always mm-hmm. assume attraction, right? So this is the fatal 
Mm-hmm. Fatal fault that women make when they speak about men. You assume that he's attractive, and what did I say? It takes what do you mean attractive? skill and ability to be attractive to then attract women. So how can he be a whore if he doesn't have any skill? He could he could want to sleep with a lot of women, but if he does, if he's not bringing any value to the woman or to the sexual marketplace, to the sexual marketplace, then no woman would sleep with him. That's why one in three men, thirty percent of men, is either a virgin or celibate between the ages of 18 and 30 so my point is that yeah men want to men want quantity that's just our natural proclivity to want quantity but all men don't have the ability to enact on their wants they have to have value to enact on what they want so that doesn't so therefore he's not a whore because but the a woman, woman chose no, no, to let him hit no no but what i'm saying is that the woman when a woman is being promiscuous, she's doing everything wrong. Everything wrong. She's not doing anything right. She's going against her biology. Her biology is quality, not quantity, right? So she's going against her biology, which is everything wrong. It's shameful. It decreases her value. When a man is being promiscuous, he has to do something right to enact on his promiscuous natures, which means that he's expressing value. You get what I'm saying? So it's he's incapable of being a whore and he's incapable of being shamed. That's why you Hefna with the Playboy man. Mansion. That's why Dan Blazarian with all of his women that he has it's all and Andrew Tate is all looked at like Dane women admire him women want to smash those dudes and other men want to be those dudes it's praised upon but the woman that's promiscuous is just like ew you're doing everything wrong you should you should have some uh, sexual temperance and uh, hold your value close to you and not just give it away sporadically to every man that you see because it's easy to do. So what would you call a man who cheats on his wife with multiple women? He's not a whore. He's a cheater. <laughs> yeah, he's a cheater. We we're not praising it. We're not saying he's, like I need you. We're not saying that it's a good thing. No switchboard. When I switch. Both of them is equally, but it's just saying that it's just not frowned upon. Just like it's frowned no, upon. No, I know on it's women. not frowned upon, but I still think that men are yeah, whores. Uh, no, a man. Yeah. You don't even. The, the point is, is that no woman or man thinks that a man is a whore because the women that the w- women are attracted to the men that can sleep with a lot of women so therefore it's not shameful even on your mind right but in all the men we don't think it's shameful because we know all the practice and the skill it took for him to sleep with a whole lot of women so it's literally in impo- our mental you're just using the word but your mental mind frame doesn't even believe the word that you're even using because the guys that you chose in your past they all slept with other girls. Did you ever have sex with a virgin? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that means that mm-hmm. the guys that you chose in your past, they all had other vagina and they had skill and had to put forth effort and bring value to that girl in order to sleep with her. So that means that if he has value, then that means that if he had value to get that one girl, he has value to get other girls. Not all girls, but he is he's capable of getting a multitude of girls. The guy that my point is this, the men that don't have the capability or the value to attract a woman and then have sex with a woman, well No one respects No one respects him. No one <laughs> wants that guy. You don't want those guys. Those guys in CVS, yo. I need you switching two back and forth. Those guys in CVS, those guys at Walmart, those guys when you're just out at the club and they're like, you know what I mean? Just you're not really attracted to them. Guess what? You're not attracted to them and a multitude of other girls aren't attracted to them. But the guys that you are attracted to, think about the guys that you are attracted to. Think about why you're attracted to the guys that you're attracted to. Well, it's like, okay, maybe he got a nice smile. Maybe he's charismatic. He's like, you know, funny, stuff like that. Well, I'm laughing a little bit when I'm with this nigga. I'm sure he make another girl's laugh too. <laughs> it's common sense. Like if he's making me laugh, he could probably make another chick laugh. So he's smashing that other chick too. So he's he's you don't think he's a whore. That's what I'm saying. Like even your own mind don't think he's a whore. You're just using a word. All right. A hoe, a whore, a yeah. slut. Oh, a yeah. slur. Keep going to the same I, topic. Because yeah. I think men and women, like even if he does have high value, like he's even higher value if he's not slanging his pee pee everywhere. But he's not going to tell you if he does. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're you never going to. They're never going to. There's only been one man, so then two men on the face of this planet that, that ever existed. That ever existed. There's only been two men of high value 
and wasn't promiscuous. Guess who it was? Jesus yeah. and Adam. Yeah. It was Jesus because he was God. <laughs> and then it was Adam because he only had Eve. He didn't have the ability to be promiscuous. Uh, Martin Luther King, is he not high value? I don't know that man, but he was a great person <laughs> Yo, and a great leader. Ease. I need you switching. Um, he, was he, he was a great man and a great person, but he was sleep, sleeping with a multitude of many other women on his wife. He was cheating on his wife with a lot of women. I oh, didn't even real? know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Man, Martin you Luther didn't know King that. Had a he lot hell no. Uh, uh, waxing them white bitches down. Yeah, white too. White too? Yep. Yeah. Oh, white. So, wait, you said you knew yeah. about that. But yeah, the, okay. that. You did know about Martin Luther King was out here being promiscuous, but you still, this is what I'm saying. You don't even believe it yourself. You just said that Martin Luther King was a good guy, was a good man. But <laughs> then you know that he was out here slaying another poon and cheating on his wife. So that means that in your own mind frame, you still thought he was a good man. But <laughs> slaying, I mean, being, a, but that goes back to being a hoe doesn't mean Lame. that you're a bad person. This is, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I, you know, it's good cop, bad cop when I'm on. So what they're saying is the act of a man just giving it out as easy is still bad to them. Like they're in their eyes, what they yeah, say. But we know what we got to do to be able to do our, that. Like we, yeah, yeah, we as men, even, we praise that. Like you come to me. But and, she praised it just now. She said that. Way, I don't know a lot about him, but he was a good man. So I mean, she can say he's good for his actions, the, but no, no, he's bad for no, being no, what no, he no. did with his yes. wife. She fully dismissed the fact that he was, she knew that he was but, out there cheating. Yeah. But that, she fully dismissed the fact, which means that she didn't hold it in a high way. But guess what? If we're talking about women and a woman, let's say, let's say Michelle Obama. They would never be good. And Michelle Obama was out. We found that Michelle Obama was uh cheating on obama no whoa would she ever be woman wouldn't look at her as a good woman That's true. and men wouldn't look at oh, her yeah. as a good one will if, think about 100 years from now <laughs> 20 years from now 30 years from now like martin luther king <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like michelle obama was a whore she was a harlot yeah she was out here cheating on obama oh, like uh, <laughs> but martin luther king he was out here cheating on mrs uh king but you don't even care about that. You didn't bring that up. You said he's a good man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You yourself don't even believe a man can be a whore. But that goes back to I've been dismissing that whole body count slang and shit. I've been dismissing that. No, what I'm saying is point proven even further. You are dismissing it in <laughs> like, men. Yeah. I'm but dismissing you're not dismissing it in men and women. And women. Yeah. You're not Can dismissing it in women because I yeah. just came on the podcast. The question, Time, no, no, no. Man. Yeah, yeah viewers is... going to watch this. When we first came on the podcast, you even said yourself, these chicks is easy out here, bro. They're they just are. sleeping with everybody. You're saying that I they're said whores. Them old. Okay, there is whores in men and women. That's what I'm getting at. There's whores in men and women, and I'm not shaming no, no. either one of them. No, no, She's no, looking no, at whore like an act. No, 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 no. And not she, a just, she just contradicted herself. Martin Luther oh, King not. wasn't a whore in your eyes. He was a good man. But the woman that but you talked about in the I beginning mean. of the podcast was whores. Hazel, um, <laughs> who's better at cheating, men or women, and why? Women definitely in this generation. Okay. But I know some men that really have like double lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know how the hell they do it. Married mm -hmm. and all, extra kids. But I don't know. I think women take this one. Women take the cake. Okay. And why? Mm -hmm. Like, well, how? why are they better? We what done do learned think? the game. We done figured out our own formula. We done did it better. Learned the game. Okay. Fair hell enough. Yeah. What about you, uh, Miranda? It's going to be controversial. I think men. Okay. I think it's, you know, like foundation men are supposed to be with women sexually that's why you know man is a whore because that's your job to be with women like mm -hmm. that's what you're that's why men has to mas masturbate every day whatever that looks like it's I like beat my meat <laughs> if, if you didn't have a girlfriend you would or if you didn't couldn't meet a girl you would no i'm not beaten so what you doing you're not supposed <laughs> now to now you want to talk about yourself but you don't want to talk about yourself what you before. doing Okay. I'm, I don't beat. <laughs> He's slanging it. <laughs> oh, you be slanging it? I ain't beating nothing. A man that he, think okay. about it. If you jerking all fellas, that's why all the jerkers, all the master, all, all the master beat, all the beat meters, right? <laughs> <If you're laughs> beat, beat me. You know you feel shame afterwards. You're like, man, this was disgusting. I ain't even have the capability to get no real poon. This was fake. <laughs> I came up with these fake. imaginations in my head, or I was watching something on TV. This was a virtual reality. It wasn't real. Like, you're a loser for beating your meat. Damn. Sim plain and simple. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Go ahead. Some men don't men have Men are better. <laughs> and why? Better at cheating? Yeah. That's yeah, what you're saying. I think because you guys need sexual activity more than women. Okay. So it's, men are... And that's a, it's a fact. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If yeah. you look up statistics, I'm pretty sure that's a fact. 
Okay. Yeah. So fair enough. You you need it, so you will figure out how to do it. Like okay. it is, it is like a mandatory thing, from what I understand. So like, if it's mandatory, I, you I see her logic to it. I see, I you will, see you logic. will, you will figure it out. I see. It. They I do. See the they're logic. mad crafty. So I'll say this, right? <laughs> so um, it's yeah. w- one. We gonna say it's easier. It's just easier for a woman to to cheat, yeah. right? Because mm-hmm. women hold mm-hmm. access to sex. So oh, since yeah. women hold access to sex. Um, they don't have to go through the trials and tribulations of one attracting courting a man uh, well attracting a man courting a man and then also making that man feel a certain way to then get sex from him they could just say hey uh i you know i'm bored and i match with you on tinder come on over so it's very easy the reason why it's harder for men and men tend to get caught cheating because they got to do a multitude of things they gotta one the girl that they're hitting up they gotta make her feel the vibe so they they shooting darts so in men in order for a man to cheat it's a numbers game he doesn't just go for one girl and like yeah this is the girl i'm gonna cheat i want to cheat i'm gonna choose this one girl well he ain't gonna never the probability of him smashing that one girl that he went for it's probably never gonna happen so men have to shoot darts it's a numbers game he gotta shoot take multiple shots and multiple girls dms or swipe right to multiple girls on tinder on any uh dating apps in order to have even a chance to sleep with women right so then because you got to think about it most women aren't attracted to most men right so if he's just out here trying to be on one woman well the probability of him getting that one woman is extremely low but the probability of a woman getting one man is extremely high because most men would sleep with most women if that makes sense right Mm -hmm. so it's much easier for women play the dating game on easy mode because you hold access to the beginning stages of dating right the beginning stages of dating is the talking stage and then is all the talking stage to get the sex. So that means that men, in order to get sex, since you hold access to sex, we have to acquiesce our behaviors, put our best foot forward, and show you a good experience in order for you to feel the vibes and to give us some cookies. You know what I'm saying? To give us some box. That's the facts. But a woman, on the other hand, she don't got to do none of that. She just got to be like, uh, come on through. So what's the what's the answer? Yes. Then? So uh, yeah, ready for this? So the answer is well, it's much. Women are much better at cheating because it is easy for a woman to cheat. So we got to think about the word better, right? So I will agree with you on one part, right? So if we're thinking about better as easy and they they could do it more frequently and they could do it without getting caught that the answer would go to women is because that they don't have to shoot a whole lot of darts and put a whole lot of, they don't have to leave a whole lot of trails Mm -hmm. for them to get caught. They could just be like, oh, I got this one guy at work. Hey, yeah, I'm attracted to you. Let's hook up. Cool. Let's hook up. And men is never going to tell on another man. Like ever. They're never going to tell. They're never going to tell. So say if me and you in a relationship, Miranda, and uh, you out there being, uh, I'm being promiscuous, right? I'm out here talking to other girls. It's a high probability that if I don't keep it, if my value isn't high enough and if I don't keep it extremely well, that somewhere within the courting process of even if I'm talking to that girl, that if she finds out that I have another girl, she's going to tell my girl that she was she, she's going to tell my girl that I was trying to get with her. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because girls want to feel like they're special. Mm-hmm. So since they want to feel like they're mm-hmm. special, if they find out you have another girl, then it's like, oh, I don't feel special. I'm telling her. Mm-hmm. Right. But the thing is, is that now you're cheating. You want to be promiscuous. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Um, the guy that you choose to talk to, he's going to be he, you could actually tell him, yeah, I got a boyfriend. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. I like him and stuff like that. But he's slacking and I want to hook up with you. He's going to hook up with you. He's going to never tell your boyfriend because he doesn't want to lose access to smashing you. Exactly. He's going to keep smashing you and never tell your man. But guess what? The girl. Not gr- always will the girl tell another girl. Exactly. Not, because, oh, saying, not but, always. It's, it's only two ways. It's think, only two you ways. You think majority will? Majority I, I, will. I, I, majority I don't, will. don't agree with majority will. Majority. Majority. Because girls, majority girls definitely, are more definitely messy will. than yeah, you think. Exactly. So, so I let me, think. I think it's like, but that's what uh, I that's tell. just my opinion yeah. personally. I agree with you on that. Men don't snitch. I'll break, I'll break it down like for you. Like if you guys are hooking up, oh, that's I, a lie. And you want to hook up with me, 
I might tell her, but I might not tell her because so I don't girl, know. He so, girl, he was in my DMs. So this was, uh, <laughs> yeah. he was in my DMs, girl. Look I right here. Eight, time, yeah, eight yeah. times out of yeah. ten, the girl is going to tell the other yeah. girl. Mendo, no matter what. Mendo eight Smith. times out of ten. There's that two yeah. percent. The two girls out of the eight that are going to be like, oh, hell no. Fuck that. I'm not even about to be like on the woman to woman shit. Because yeah. that's not. Yeah. So the yeah. main. Men don't come it's to not going to change nothing. As a man. The main two reasons why the girl will tell the girlfriend that her man was trying to get with her is because it's for two reasons, right? One, because his value wasn't high enough to dictate terms in the relationship that he has with uh, you, like the, the girl yeah. that he's trying to cheat with. So he has to like, you know, uh, finesse it and kind of go around the fact that he has a girl. And then it's like, well, you weren't being honest, but you're, it isn't. Women are masters at looking for men inadequacies and masters at looking at incongruencies in men. So when a woman is talking to a man, she truly is a social master. Like, well, you said this, this doesn't match up. You're hiding this. This doesn't match up. What's going on? Who do you have? She does her research. Why, why don't guys care, though? Because girls care. We only I care about one thing. Saying. Well, because we only care about smashing. Girls okay, care about right, girls look for right. more than just sex. Sure, sure. So anytime a girl is talking to a man, ten out of ten times it's more than just sex unless she's broken. If she's a broken woman, that means that she's already been promiscuous and she's for the streets, oh then Airbnb. maybe she would just want know. sex from that guy and nothing more because sure. she's broken. But yeah. women mm -hmm. that aren't broken, Close. they always want a little bit more. They're like, okay. Like, I want to be the main. Mm -hmm. like, I want to be the only. They want to feel special. They want to feel that vibe. They want to feel like they creating a good union between yeah. one another, Especially right? Especially if that's what someone's offering. Well, the thing is that men men don't even have to offer that. Yeah. But they would still think it in their head. Like, oh, he this is cool. Like, because she's feeling a vibe. It's a whole right. vibe with this guy. But my point is, is that the girl, she doesn't have to do anything. She doesn't have to worry about any of that when she's talking to another guy and has a guy at home because that guy would never tell. He never wants to lose access to smashing her. Right. So he would never tell her boyfriend yeah. ever. He would never yeah. tell her boyfriend yeah. because one, men aren't emotionally evolved how women are emotionally involved true, in a relationship. Yeah. Women, their, their feelings is involved. That man that's smashing you. So say if you got a boyfriend and I'm smashing you. Uh, I'm. I don't hey. got no feelings involved. You so got a man. Care. You, <laughs> right. He got to go home to this pussy that yeah. I just dominated yeah. and aired out and destroyed. <laughs> you know what I'm That's what he got to go back to. So, you know what I mean? He, he got to go back to some uh, ruthless behavior that just was done on you. I don't got to go back to that, so I ain't going to feel nothing. But on the opposite end, women, right? So if... I don't think it's just about that, neither. I think it's a little bit about your ego. No, I'm ego. talking on, on a man. I know, and I think it's a little bit also Maybe on your snitching. ego. Well, that goes into the ego part. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah I'm I'm dominating this, so it's like I. And yeah. Like she wants me. English shot, like not ours. Yeah. yeah. Really. Like even if I see him in a spot, I'm like, like I've at the end of the day, <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I, I like I'm more out. manly than this guy. Like yeah. if yeah. I smash another nigga's girl, like bro, I'm I'm the big dog. Respect yeah. me. <laughs> and don't even get out of line. Yo, even if we get into a fight and he and and I lose the fight, I still smashed your girl. Yeah. I'm about <laughs> like, to call it a night. It don't matter. So it's like I still dominated your girl, yeah. but uh. So, but now say if me and you're in a relationship and you go out and you hook up with another guy, right? You're going, obviously you're hooking up with another guy because I'm lacking in, in, in some ways. Mm -hmm. Unless you're a broken woman, oh, yeah, then, I'm, then I'm not lacking yeah. in anything. You're just broken and you want to yeah. be promiscuous. Yeah. But the women that aren't broken, the man is inadequate. That's why they cheat, right? So then women only date up. When they cheat, they literally only date up, meaning that the guy that they choose is better in some way, maybe more yeah. money, maybe more masculinity, mm -hmm. maybe more charming, maybe more handsome. But the guy, I can have a 10, I knock a two down. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's just different. So it's like no emotions. <laughs> There's no emotions in that. Makes sense? Oh, That's a fact. Man. Here's the deep, raw truth about this whole topic on cheating, right? So women tend to all, when, when the man is cheating on a woman, Women tend to always go tell the girl like, oh, your man was in my DMs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was he was talking to me. Yeah, we went out on a date. But she doesn't care anything about that other woman. That's the only reason why she's telling that woman that to have an upper hand over that woman, right. like literally to get an upper hand over her. Like, you yeah, your nigga ain't yeah. nothing. Yes. Yeah. And also, it's also to shame that man is once yeah. to shame the man and then get an upper hand on a woman. What That's if she what if she didn't know he had a man? 
What, or you know, what I, you know what I'm no, trying to say? It's still the same. Okay. Like she's still telling because she's trying to shame that man if she didn't know, mm-hmm. or sure. she's trying to get an upper hand on a woman. One or the other. But Females love a one. A man, yeah. when when we're smashing a girl and we know that she has another man, trust me, we feel pain for that other man. Like. As we dominating it, like, bro, I would, I'm never gonna wipe this. I would never wanna go through she that. She a whore. <laughs> we back there beating it up, like, bro, she is for the streets. I feel sorry for this thing. Ain't no way. Even 100%. when we see this nigga, 100%, 100%, 100%, we literally yeah. feel it in our heart, but we. We're not going to say it because we don't even have to well, say it. Well, it's not the it. prominent yeah. feeling well, y'all fucked for up you. Then. Yeah, it's not the prominent I mean, feeling. You nah, feel bad, no. but that's at the 10%. The 90%, you still feel good because of the situation. Mm-hmm. Right? Is that, I'm, I'm asking. Well, like, no, like, I'm the shame, about, like the shame, the, the situation, feeling bad. For the situation, we're like, well, we don't care because we're hitting box. But when we think mm-hmm. about the man, we feel very, very bad for that man because it's like, bro, it's not stopping how you don't you know it. that your girl is a whore? Yeah. Bro, yeah. what aren't you doing to <laughs> like, what aren't you doing to stop her to smashing me? Like, bro, yeah. be more masculine. Grow some balls. Like, why is she coming to me when you the man? Yeah. But she's looking for another man. So we feel very, like, we feel bad. Trust maybe, me. Maybe men need to help more men out then. Well, uh, yeah, so we the thing is much. why it won't happen. That's what they need to. I'm going to be honest here. What's the much. level of care? actually do need to help other men out. I think, Definitely. I think that is a need that, is a that, that needs to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen, <laughs> though. It's Guess not going to happen. It's never going to happen. No. Never. You just don't want to lose access to vagina. Yeah. yeah. When so. you cheat on your man, you actually, like, lose value. When a man... Yeah. cheats on his woman he doesn't lose any value at all within himself mm, because when yeah. you're in a relationship if you say we're dating we meet i'm like oh have you ever been cheated on before or have you ever cheated that's yeah. a common question people ask in relationships mm-hmm. and say she said i did i did cheat on my ex yeah. i'm not gonna do it again like that would make me maybe not want to date them anymore you're telling you're saying that it doesn't and say we're well, just saying she's mad for this this sake right it's like that would deflect me from wanting to date her but you're saying it wouldn't wait wait because you guys said if a man cheats it doesn't matter no 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 cheating in itself you're saying it doesn't does devalue matter. the man it, just doesn't it devalues the, the woman so but it could devalue the man because you could want a girl to date her but if she finds out that you cheated then she's not going to want to date you if she's That's if she respects herself yeah but but all not the thing it is doesn't all it doesn't men, all women want a man that is capable of cheating because the men that aren't capable huh? of cheating is not attractive because if they aren't capable of getting no. another woman no. obviously they're not attractive at all so mm-hmm. that means that they don't have the capability you they're gonna cheating. fight your temptations. So what I'm saying is that exactly. women yeah. want, you know, this is the English language. Listen, ladies, women want a man that's capable of cheating, not going out there and cheating, just capable of it. Meaning that he is so attractive and he has so much value and he's so charismatic and charming and such, so mm. cool. I know he's capable of doing it, but I don't want him to do it. Don't, that's the man that you do want, right? But the man that you don't want is the man that don't even have the capability to cheat because he's just not attractive enough to get other girls. You feel what I'm saying? And one but of the, the thing is, is that no. men, we look at sex much differently. When we look at women, it's more of like, we want a beautiful woman, but we want a woman that has purity. So we want, yeah, we want her to be beautiful, but untouched, unscarred, less experience. You get what I'm saying? Scars is sexy on a man. Scars isn't sexy on a woman. This world is just sexist. It's well, yeah, you could, uh, you could right now go on OnlyFans. I can manage you, right? We could do create OnlyFans for you, depending on how your feet look. They could probably look a little ugly, but we could sell them things. <sighs> we could make a good little penny. But guess what? I can't do that. So the world is sexist, but the problem is, is that women only tend to, you know, uh, get mad at the sexism when it doesn't benefit them. That's you true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the only part of sexism that benefits men is that Everything else in sex is sex, sex. The world is sexist, but the only thing that men get a benefit from is that we don't get shamed for for being promiscuous. But every everything else, we get literally like, the only think thing. about it. Men, uh, children and women off the boat. <clears throat> Everybody else died on the Titanic. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's like, oh, let's hold the door open for for ladies. You get what I'm saying? A nigga, you know, but holding you need no us. door open for what you say? You need us to. Yeah, procreate. Yeah, so that's we, why we're. We that's why they, it, exactly. they are the first. They're more valuable. Yeah, well, no, not more valuable. Women just are valuable. Period. Right. Like that's what I said in the, in the beginning yeah. of the podcast. Women, you have value. Men, 
niggas don't have we got to work for our right. value we don't we don't just have value out the bag but um yeah any other questions before we wrap up Mm-mm. okay cool good conversations we're gonna do last thoughts on the podcast this is a time where you could either ask a last question or just give your perspective on a podcast we're gonna start with um lee me it was good i feel like we good should. podcast i feel like we should have had different topics but yeah i could have talked about different topics well, you kept bringing no, it No, you to, would not get off of it. it. You yeah, want to get off of it. Yeah. And off of it, we were talking about something that's deep and something that we had a disagreement on. So that's that's what happens when you have a discussion. If things that you disagree on, you're normally going to speak about that for a long period of time because everyone's going to share their perspective. Yeah. And we literally, I didn't even really get the, the questions that I asked was around that question that you had, uh, China, and what you had because... It was like, well, let's go deeper on this to get more understanding. But yeah. Would you come back? Yeah. Cool. Come back. We'll have a whole new topic. Just don't bring up <laughs> men and women so. cheating. Just bring up something else or I'll start asking some don't of these Don't bring up questions. body counts and stuff like that. Well, I mean, that was only because she brung up the whole um, whores and whole, whole maker thing. So I had to bring up body count. It, it went. Uh, China, Just last bad. thoughts or, well, do you have any questions? No. Last thoughts? That's cool. Cool. Would you come back? Yeah. Just second time. So I appreciate yeah. Lee and China for coming back. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Definitely would have y'all on again. And uh, you, it's very simple, ladies. Y'all see the podcast. That's the reason why y'all want to come on. So just think about like, because I would have a whole bunch of questions and we could speak about a multitude of things. Feminism, actual certain parts in relationship, short term and long term relationships and the pros and cons of it. It's a multitude of things we could talk about that I've talked about before that we can get in depth with. But if you have certain things that you're like, eh, I, I don't understand this about dating or I don't understand this about men or women or even within myself, bring those questions on because that will create more discussions. Cool. Um, Diamond, last questions? Um, I think I, I did have a last question to piggyback off of what Miranda said, and I can't really remember what it was. Um, what the hell were we just talking about? <sighs> Men cheating, I don't know. What Miranda said? Mm-hmm. Miranda, what were you just talking about? Uh, we were she talk- thinks of it all. I'm, uh, I'm pretty anything. sure it was about, because you said, whatever, I'll just... I don't remember, but it was cool. It was cool? You got me a little heated at first, but... All good. Temperature down, though, right? Yeah, it was the Hennessy. It was the Hennessy. (laughs) So, put temperature down. That's good. And uh, would you come back? Yeah. I did have a question, like, to ask, just in general. Yeah. Was, um, why do you think men cheat, and when is it okay? Cheating is never okay for a man. Mm -hmm. So never okay for a man a man um should never cheat if, or what i said i should say not okay but like forgivable i should say oh forgivable like what what okay. instances would you think first of all why do you think men cheat okay and when do you think it's forgivable got it so um well men cheat is their natural proclivity to want quantity so they could truly like love you and care about you and you know give you the world but like they could be, you know, on vacation and, and they're only as faithful as their options. So if they have like the option too, it's a high probability that he'll take that option. So since the world is godless and God has been removed from the world, that means that most women, uh, most men, when they, we- when they meet women, those women aren't virgins. So it's like, okay, you weren't a virgin. You didn't hold yourself to high morals and high values within yourself. But now since I... I'm a man and I got you and I have an option now to cheat. Well, the world is godless anyway, so I'm going to take that <laughs> option. That's why we need to bring God back in the world because that's going to bring balance. More women will be less promiscuous and less promiscuous women would think about this. Y'all ladies can literally change the game. Think about if all y'all got into a group chat, all women in the world, and they, they said, know what? You know what? Let's We're not going to have sex until marriage. Let's kill me. Promiscuity in the world? Defeated. Truly defeated. <laughs> that means that no man oh, is going to get no vagina easy. and be promiscuous. Go and like no that. woman is going to be... No, but Definitely what I'm saying not. is that trying to marry women, anybody at the women, <laughs> women have the capability of doing it. It doesn't work the other way around because men sure. don't have access uh, to... 
men don't grant access to sex. So even if all men got together in a group and was like, you know what? We going to wait to have sex until we married. But some of these chicks is giving up box mad easy. It's temptation. I'm going to go get this poon. And that's exactly. I literally just made a TikTok the other day. And I was basically saying that, like, just like you said, like, if we, I said, if we all women came together and was like, all right, like, we're not going to go for this. Mm hmm. It'd be easier for the next female because, because you know, Shorty A was going for this, that, and a third. This guy thinks that he can get over on other women the same way that he was giving giving off on Chick A. So it's like I feel I feel what yes. you're saying because it's like women yep. set the standard. So yes. if a man, if you're if you're with a man and he's cheating, it's because other women don't are not ho- 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 holding not holding themselves up, yeah. up to the standard that. I mean, you could e- they could even be cheating on a woman that has higher standards than their woman, but I think just women just don't have yeah. high standards of respect anymore. Yeah, no, that's so facts. it's like yeah. men just think us women go for anything because a lot of these women they they do. Yeah, it's yeah. like so since a man's natural proclivity is quantity, it's still hard to enact on our natural proclivity because we have to have value to to have sex with women. So even though it's hard, we're always going to take the easier route to success. All human beings take the easier route to success. So it's like, OK, well, this girl is very beautiful and, um, you know, I got to have money. I got to have status. I got to have all these things to attract her. But this girl She's so-and-so, and she don't really care about all of that. This would be an easier choice for me to smash this. And it's a it's a natural one. We want to be, we want to, our proclivity is to have sex with multiple women. So that's why we are more susceptible to cheating. But if the women can literally change that, if you ladies just all agreed, we're not going to have sex until we're married. Men, and the only way men could have sex with you is, is rape, married. but we got laws to cover that. So those men are going to be in prison and stuff like that. Um... Y'all could literally change the world if y'all wanted to. In a For good sure. way. Pussy yeah. power. <laughs> yeah, in a good... Well, that is that power when it comes to that. It is. But, but guess what? Since promiscuous... Since women are so promiscuous nowadays... Promiscuous, but that still means that they have standards. They're not just going to sleep with anyone. All the power goes to the top tier men. Right? Because now, right? Since you ladies, not you and here, but women in general are more promiscuous than ever, right? That means that they're sleeping around with more men than usual. So, guess what? All women have the same set of standards six over six foot, a height preference, a race preference, and an income preference, a man of status, a charisma preference, too. You want your man to be charismatic and make you feel the vibes. Only 20% of the population makes $100,000 a year. Only 15% of the population is six foot or, or above. So the stats is very low for the guys that you want. So what it does is that when a man works on himself and becomes a valuable man, he has so many options in a dating pool. So why be, you know, monogamous? I could sleep with all these girls and just enact in my natural proclivity ways. So all those men, they have all the power in the dating market because guess what? All of you ladies want those men. But that's why most women start in this day and age say that, oh, all men are crap. No, just those niggas that you want, they have options and you ain't the first option. Yeah. That's true. Facts. Um, would you come back? Yeah. It was a vibe. Word. Um, Miranda, yes. last thoughts? Or oh, well, actually, I'm, any questions? Uh, uh, no questions. I'm going to be honest. Yes. I think if someone doesn't want to answer the question, we should keep going because we got through, I think, two questions and it's been hours. And it, I think it's, I know you're trying to get your point across and trying to over explain. But to me, it's like mm-hmm. we spent an hour on someone not answering one question and it's a little frustrating on the other side because. If someone is willing, the whole point of being on a podcast is willing to answer questions. Like, that's why we're here to talk about stuff, to ask questions and to answer questions. So that's just my perspective on that. Sure. I would say the whole point of uh, a podcast is for the viewers. So what what the viewers would see is that there's one man speaking to a multitude of women and women have 
problems answering certain questions. So it's like, well, this rings a bell. Why do they have certain problems? Why do they have a problem on answering certain questions? And so now it's studies can be done on this podcast. Well, it's a problem here. Well, the next podcast, oh, problem with that question. Well, now let's think about why women have problems talking about body count and sex and all this other stuff. I know the, I know the reason why is because women like to coddle other women's feelings, right? It's all the, the, it's a, you, you think feelings first before logic. So since you think feelings first is like, well, I have to protect my, how I feel and how this other person may feel. So I don't want to answer this, but men, we think logic first, then feeling. So it's like, oh, logic, I'll answer the question. And then maybe I'll give a feels perspective on it, but that's just human nature. So this was perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about the podcast Thanks. because men and women need to see men and men and women behavior. I do this podcast for a reason to discuss dating and relationships, intersexual dynamics between men and women, right? Intersexual dynamics. So the way we perceive things is totally different, right? Ladies perceive things more on a feels base, but like her, she was a perfect example. She was like, well, I was feeling something. You're so nice, too. <laughs> you're, so, you're so nice. You're like, well, I was feeling away. No, and that's emotions. Why I couldn't answer it. Emotions. Yeah, feelings is emotions. Yes. And um, I think that's why I didn't really no, want to answer it either. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's totally it's feeling our emotions for but, sure. But guess what? It's totally okay. But I can't have a podcast. That's why I was like, you know what? We get all y'all can leave because I can't even have a podcast if everyone's going to be enacting on feelings. Because you know why? It won't go with my podcast. It'd be very Fugazi. The podcast is called No Fugazi. So I want y'all actually to speak what y'all think, not speak what y'all feel. Because if you speak what you feel, you gonna be Fugazi. Because feelings is like, you can't measure feelings. It's like you feel one way this one moment, then you feel another way the next moment. But if you speak what you think, then it's like you critically, you were able to critically think about this and have not just a perception about something because everyone perceives things, but have a perspective about things. So it's much different. Perception and perspective is different. And you had a perspective and that's why you were able to then answer the question. So I appreciate that. But yeah. I get what you say, Miranda. And fear assessment. Um, would you come back? Sure. Word. I'll have you back. So bye. <laughs> um, Dane, I forgot your name. You can't Hazel. wait. That's why. Bro. Hazel. Hazel. Um, <laughs> Last, uh, any questions? Mm -mm. No, last thoughts. Give me a little anxiety today. You got a little lie. anxiety. Yeah, you'll be. I'll be going in. you be going in. Yeah. This is I see you doing lips. your big one. Go ahead. Is, huh? I see you doing your big one. Yeah, you know. As you should. The podcast is growing, man. It's, and it's, it's genuine. It's, you know. It's, yeah, it's I fuck genuine. with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, China over here like, nah, this nigga. <laughs> I'm not fucking with it. I don't it. care about none of this, bro. She yawned one time. <laughs> she was on her phone twice. She probably texts her friend like, oh, this nigga coolie, man. This ain't that. But would you come back? Word, I'll have you back. Um, Samson, I mean, uh, Samantha, I mean, Susan, Sandy. I mean, uh, Karen, what Damn, the heck? Damn, that's how many Damn, not a Karen. Sandy. I want to... In the beginning, it was intense, but I like how things turned around and how it went. I definitely will return, and I don't have any questions. Okay, word. Well, ladies, appreciate y'all for coming out, as always. Uh, viewers, <laughs> like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you like this podcast, click the notification bell so you could be uh, you know, advised of the next podcast when that drops. And uh, we're out. <laughs>